Good morning, the ham squad. Going on, boys and girls. How's everyone doing today? Studio CM, thank you for the sub, uh, Ronnie. Thank you, uh, I like, wait, why is it? Thank you, Samicus, for that early raid. Appreciate it. If I'm BRD all night, for what? some focus today give me some of that ADV focus today oh we got the fucking half jugs coming out with the hammer squad logo you're gonna love that shit let me get my juices let me get my juices
screen on. How's everyone doing today? There we go. There we go, man. Ooh. To celebrate a while back in China, say we all get the panda cub pet. <laughs> we'll see. I gotta read up on the news and see what the dealio is. Yeah, they got the cub, dude. Wasn't it in their store? So, at least I thought. Nah, dude, like recently, like, what was it, like maybe two years ago, they had some sort of promotion. Remember, we were, everyone was going crazy. That they, I don't know, like, you get a sub or you're something in China, they, 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 all, they all got, like, cubs. China world first rating is back, but not really. That's what I'm about to say, dude. They're going to remake that statue. Did they even mention that <laughs> in there? In their uh, news post or whatever. Oh, they did. Sweet. That's nice to know. Like, we're cool again. Statue's back. Okay. They're making a new one. It was all part of the plan. They had to destroy the old one, make a new one, you know? Let's go and see what the news is going on with this. First, let me send on my morning masuji. Oh, shit. Just announced PSA has entered a strategic partnership with eBay with the seamless end to end collecting experience on the way. Cards vaulted with eBay will soon head to the PSA vault. Vaulted plus just graded cards can soon sell directly on eBay. Ooh, that's fucking interesting. Bro, that'd be so cool if I could just like buy a card on eBay and have it sent to get graded right from the purchase. That's, an, that's nasty, dude. Hello.
little things. So much things, so much to do. Bam. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what well, we got raiding in Cataclysm. Raid lockouts based on bosses. I mean, okay. Lion players do either 10 or 25 raid version of each boss in the same week. Lockouts are based on individual bosses. All right, yeah. I mean, that's how it should be. That's how it should be right now. Even in SOD. I mean, all they're doing is just like taking modern day WoW raid lockouts, right? So they'll give your save to the first three bosses of Bastion of Twilight. I'm assuming you could just enter another raid and continue from that point on, yeah? Or you can actually... I, I'm pretty sure you could just like... Go in and redo it. We just won't get loot, right? <laughs> we can help other people if you want. Yeah, I mean that's how it is. That's how it is today. You know, sometimes people will come to a raid and be like, hey, I'm saved, but I'm fucking Giga Chad Mythic Raider. I can fucking help you. You know? What, what this also means is that people are going to be selling a lot of, like, end, end tier bosses. You know, the way you can... with Because, with, like, with this system, you can, like, use... You know that trick that you, that you use on uh, NA where you can just continuously use, like, the same heroic lockout over and over again with the same player and just kind of log out of that player once you're, like, in the raid and all that shit? You know? I mean, it's kind of like what we do sometimes, you know, you know, you know, just like saving a lockout. Like you guys really do that now. You just like save a lockout. I don't know. I, I, I would hope SOD picks up on something like this. You want them to, but I don't think they will. I think they're too stubborn to give us something like as, as good as this, you know? Is this the same system as in retail? You can re-kill bosses, but you won't get loot? Yep, that sounds like it. Based on the original post, a flexible races that won't release pre-patch. It releases with the, uh, with the expansion. So if you level an alt during pre-patch and worry it will get in the way of your ability to gear an ICC, you will be fine. We have zero infos about the official raid release. That means the raids will be at the start. I thought they gave us the dates yesterday. I can't, I can't even understand how someone could spin this as a negative in any, in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> like, you know? Here we go. This is a big one. So NetEase announces partnership renewal with Blizzard Entertainment World of Warcraft returning to China. NetEase has announced renewed partnership with Blizzard Entertainment to bring World of Warcraft and other Blizzard games back to China, including in the announcement where statements from NetEase President Deng Li... Uh, Blizzard president Joanna Ferries and head of Microsoft Gaming Phil Spencer all celebrating a renewed venture and welcoming the Chinese player base home again. Yeah, you can you can tack on another two million on that one, boys. Uh, Blizzard titles to return to mainland China beginning summer 2024. Microsoft Gaming and NetEase deepened their relationship with a strategic partnership based on their shared desire to bring new gaming experiences to players across platforms and markets. Uh, beloved video game titles from Blizzard Entertainment that captivated millions of players in China will return to the market uh, sequentially beginning this summer under a renewed publishing deal. Blizzard Entertainment, Microsoft Gaming, and NetEase announced today. After continuing discussions over the past year, both Blizzard Entertainment and NetEase are thrilled to align on a path forward to once again support players in mainland China and are pr uh, proud to reaffirm their compliment, uh, commitment to delivering exceptional gaming experiences. Uh, let's see. The renewed publishing agreement will encompass games Chinese players had access to under the previous agreement, WoW, Hearthstone, and other titles in Warcraft, Overwatch, Diablo, StarCraft, Universes, building upon more than 15 years of past collaboration. Blizzard and NetEase are working diligently to on relaunch plans, with further details to be shared at a later date. 
Uh, separately, Microsoft Gaming and NetEase have also entered into agreement to explore bringing new NetEase titles to Xbox consoles and other platforms. Here, here's my question. If Microsoft does not own Blizzard, does this actually happen? Because this seems like it was part of the deal. Microsoft was like, hey, if you want to work with us and you want to get our games on our platform, then you got to let Blizzard back in, you know? That 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 that, that that's what it's that's what it feels like to me. It feels like it feels like it feels like the wow like the blizzard part was like just part of the deal. It was like throw throw that in there. Like look, old ownership is out, new ownership is in. You know, Bobby the seven yachts code take is no longer here. Let's make that happen. We at Blizzard are thrilled to reestablish our partnership with NetEase and, and to work together with deep appreciation for the collaboration between our teams to deliver legendary gaming experiences to Ch players in China, said Joanna Ferries, president of Blizzard Entertainment. We are immensely grateful for the passion the Chinese community has shown for Blizzard games throughout the years, and we are focused on bringing our universes back to players with excellence and dedication. Celebrating our collaborations, we are thrilled to embark on the next chapter built on trust and mutual respect to serve our users in this unique community that we built together, said William Ding, uh, Chief Executive Officer and Director of NetEase. Our commitment to providing more exhilarating and creative entertainment experiences remains unwavering, and we are excited to see positive synergies fostered to encourage and empower collaborations to bring the joy of gaming to broad community. Very broad community. And Phil Spencer says, Blizzard and NetEase have done incredible work to renew our commitment to players. Blizzard's universes have been part of the players' lives in the region for many years, returning Blizzard's legendary games to players in China while exploring new way, or excuse me, ways to bring more new titles to Xbox demonstrates our commitment to bringing more games to more players around the world. Yep. Yep. While previous character information could be preserved using an offline account preservation feature, returning players now face a different problem, which is how to re uh, reconcile going back again. Oh, dude, they're not going to think twice, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> and this is true, though. In the absence of any transfer process to bring their new accounts back with them or merge the two accounts together, players are left in the position of reclaiming accounts left frozen in patch 10.05 meaning anything they've achieved or collected since will be lost to them. Some of that for good in the case of Time Limited, Mythic Plus, or PvP rewards. Man, they don't care about rewards, bro. Oh, the comments should be very juicy. Very pog for Chinese players. Remember the statue they destroyed? Ha 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 ha. They're going to need a lot of glue. <laughs> a mistake. Imagine actually cooperating again with Winnie the Pooh, Pooh's little puppet business. Jesus. Honestly, net ease W for trashing on Bobby. True, true, true. I'm happy for him. It's good for them, dude. Oh, is this uh is there like a, 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 a like a, a, a regularly written part to this? It's like half Chinese, half English. Let me see. In the future, the games will be relaunched sequentially with the first game set to return this summer. I guess this is them telling us about the technical problems. When the servers are available, we will ensure that your account data is fully preserved. Please ignore any rumors and avoid any forms of account trading behavior. So as enhanced anti-cheat measures will be added to the game under the new agreement, we will have expanded capabilities to optimize the gaming environment. We will employ advanced technological solutions and be prepared to take appropriate legal measures against infringers. The content creators will also receive more support in the future of the past year. Many creators continue to provide high quality content for Blizzard games. This passion and dedication should be met with corresponding rewards. New creators will also have more opportunities to showcase their works to the whole community. We are uh, profoundly grateful for their years of contribution and trust. At last, let's reforge Gorehal together. Yeah, I don't think I was going to forget that, bro. Artists from NetEase and Blizzard are working together to design and forge a new Gorehal sculpture. Well, no need for glue, I guess. 
Yeah, it's gonna suck, dude. Only have like having. I mean, you get your account back, you get your characters back. There's no way they can merge like their Taiwan characters or EU characters or NA characters back to China, right? I don't think that's even possible. I mean, it could be possible, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that works. It seems like it's not possible. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like there's going to be a lot of bugs doing that. We got some hotfixes last night for SOD. Number of creatures needed to complete missions in the Nightmare Incursions has been reduced by about 30%. Okay. Items. Fixing issue causing some bosses to drop nowhere. Items. Dark Moon card decay adjusted to be more appropriate for single target situations. Dark Moon card storm adjusted to be more appropriate for multi target situations. Screaming Chain Pauldrons cannot be learned by leather workers. Sigil of Living Dreams now requires a ruined true silver rod to craft was Arcanite Rod. There we go. So how much does this true silver rod cost? Should be pretty like was like maybe like fucking 15 gold or something. Paladin Consecration critical hits from the Wrath Rune now trigger vengeance. Is that like uh, vengeance from like the retribution tree? Wait, I was in conviction. Where's where's what's vengeance? Oh, that oh this vengeance. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just the effects of wrath room can trigger this talent. Okay, that's if you, that's if you go that far down. Sounds good. Makes sense. Prayer Mending can now trigger Divine Aegis. Warlock Lake of Fire will now properly increase the damage of Immolation Aura. Immolation Aura now has a persistent visual. Uh, Shadow and Flame is now activated by the Pandemic Runes. Critical hits that occur from damage over time effects. Primal Storm issues. Blizzard looking into fixing by next reset. Wait, wh why are Primal Storms, like, important anymore? Is it because of, like, the fucking Taiban achievement or whatever? Ooh, Blizzard comments on the training restriction. This ought to be good. Uh, firstly, apologies for the radio silence on this change. It is targeting a group that uh, we specifically wanted to keep in the dark as long as possible. Let me now try to fill in some details for you. We're recently experimenting with a change to the classic era and season of discovery that places restrictions on new accounts that have not yet purchased and consumed one month of game time. One month uh, has also passed since the purchase time. Specifically, we're preventing those accounts from transferring in-game wealth to other players, mail, trade, auction. Players under this restriction can still receive gold and items, so established players can still help friends. Uh, a very small number of you may have seen this restriction erroneously applied to your accounts periodically in the past week while we wrestled with some edge, edges case. These have now been resolved. Open an account. Uh, once an account has passed this aging threshold, they will never see this restriction again. Of course, we want this change to impact legitimate new play, uh, new players as little as possible. We understand that this level restriction will impact gameplay, so we're evaluating the effectiveness of this change very carefully. If we stick with it, we'll consider adjusting the restrictions to further minimize negative impact to new players. Hey, yeah, no shit, dude. <laughs> so I hope that this change will have significant effects against a real money trade that is fueling multiple negative impactful behaviors in classic era and seasonal, but we're watching it closely. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Let's do a new bots and mules charging back the sub when they get banned within the first month. You can charge back a sub. They should make it. Uh, they should just make it if we were uh, the add authentication. They don't get trade restrictions. True. True. Good thing we banned GDKP. That clearly solved the issue on its own. <laughs> Good. It slowed it down by an insane amount. LOL. Keep crying that you can't buy gear. Find a guild. <laughs> what the fuck? So find a guild and be good at the game, you fucking noob. Oh, my God. That's funny. Great change. There's notably less bots. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I guess it's, I don't really farm a lot of herbs or mine at all. I, I feel like I don't see either. I don't see bots or I just see someone passing by me. I'm like, hey, what's up? You know? 
Insane in membrane going away with Cataclysm launch. I don't care about old school achievements. What's going away with Cataclysm pre-patch official Blizzard list? Uh, let's see. Swift Zulia Tiger is going to be gone. The Rosashi Raptor will be gone. The Hatchling. Uh, the Tome of Polymorph Turtle is still good. Just a bunch of mounts. Yeah, Mimron's head. Reigns will have a low drop rate. Yeah. Sounds good. Makes sense. There we go. The Battle.net launcher catalog updated with 1027. Yeah, it's probably which means 10 to uh 1026 probably gonna change to 1027 in like a week or so. Likely dropping on the 23rd. Likely is actually correct. Ooh, data mine season four PTR Mythic Plus Hotfix is targeted nurse to break and hide hollow. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot of fucking nerfs. I can't tell if they're nerfing it because we're just going to get more powerful and this is just going to be normal. That's what it kind of feels like. I think. Ooh, withering damage reduced. Thank God that shit sucks. Withering no longer stacks as announced as the start of season four. Withering damage is seemingly no longer double dips when it spawns with a decayed totem unconfirmed. It's pretty good. The easier they make season four, the more fun people will have. They, they, they don't want to create like a really, how do we say, like they, they, they don't want to create a tedious season four, you know, where players are going to be like, all right, well, they're going to keep all this difficulty in here. I'm just going to fucking fuck off until the expansion comes out, right? Because no one really needs a reason to get more gear. People just like to get more gear. That's what we like to do in WoW. We just like to, you know, get our item level up as, as high as possible. So, yeah, so I, I, I can see where, like, Blizzard's going to be, like, really careful with how they're going to handle, you know, any kind of season four difficulty. Like, nobody wants to struggle from now until the expansion launches. Know what I mean? Well, they, you know what they need a hotfix in, in fucking SOD? They need a hotfix, you know, the, the ability for us to get our crafting quest done by not having to go into fucking Sunken Temple. Like, I have my crafting quest, and I now, now I got to, like, literally wait until we clear Sunken Temple up until the Prophet boss to be able to go into the fucking room to complete a single quest. That shit should be just, like, somewhere else. You know? I personally don't get it. Move the crafting table outside. Well, Mythic Zero is going to be is going to be now harder, right? That's interesting. Now that you say that, well, it's not going to be harder, harder. I mean, it's going to, you know, it's going to be Mythic Zero is going to give you like current cutting edge loot. It's not going to be too bad, you know. Well, we only got six of eight, but. You know, I, I was in, I was trying to get to the place in Sunken Temple before a reset on yesterday, and then the servers reset, and then I realized, oh shit, the boss is reset, so now I can't get to the room to get my shit, and I can't, I don't think I could join somebody else's raid that has already cleared it, because then that would count me toward their lockout. I don't know, it's fucking weird. Morning ADV. Oh, we got the Uwu cup. Uwu! Uwu anime cup. For the win. So Cataclysm launch announced. Wow's back in China. Alpha's coming soon. What a what a time to be alive, bro. What a time to be alive. Yeah, what was it? May 20th. It's a month away, man. It's 40 days away. We're, we're, we're all right. It's crazy to think that we're 40 days away from the fucking. So in, in the next 40 days, when, when is pre-patch? By the way. 
When, when, when's like Wrath pre-patch? The 30, May, May 30th? You mean April 30th. Okay, I was say <laughs> May 30th, we're already uh, 10 days in the Cata. Where's Alpha Tally Alien Dance? I don't know, but if you see, you know, fucking a shit ton of streamers all of a sudden just disappear off the face of the earth. Soon TM, then you know what's coming. Then the real plunder storm is going to come upon us. Uh oh. Interesting. Hmm. That's weird. When are you going to disappear then? Don't know. I know I'm going to the casino um, on Friday the 26th. That's already Alpha's already going to be out by then. But that has nothing to do with it. So it's Plunder Storm season two, Alpha Storm. Hmm. That's weird. My my mouse isn't working. There we go. Oops, not working again. Is my IQ fucked? Oh, shit. See, man, I knew when I updated Windows, something bad was going to happen today. I updated Windows and I got all these fucking errors. Let me see something. I think... Uh that's why you never restart fucking uh, restart your god or you know, update your your shit. And make sure my key my hardware key assignments are set in place. Because if they are, then I don't need to. Then I could probably operate without having to uh, have IQ open. That's what that means, by the way, when you're in IQ hardware assignment. Yeah, see, now it works. Yeah, let, let's say, like, you don't like the IQ program. Like, you can literally just... Um, you, you, you can just literally use it um, as long as you assign the same keys to the software. You do it to the hardware. Because that's all that means. That means that if you turn off IQ, now your mouse is relying on just the hardware itself, and you can actually macro the hardware before you can shut everything down yeah if you, if you have iq i su i strongly suggest not updating your windows because now we gotta wait till i now we gotta wait for iq to update their shit i knew it too man every, every single time bro every single time He knows. We we all know. A lot of us know. I mean, lucky for you guys, you know, you're going to be seeing some alpha content pretty soon. You know, I mean, at, le at least you know it's 100% happening within the next two weeks. You know? And it's already Wednesday, and we got nothing going on today. That's crazy. You, you know, you just got to start piecing everything together, right? Like, you know, it's before the 23rd, but it's probably not this week. And they don't release on Saturdays and Sundays. So all we got left is next week. Or maybe Friday. Maybe. Who knows? When is Sod Phase 4? Oh, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Fucking know, a while from now, I guess. Midsummer, I think. I 
I mean, there's sod phase four, then there's sod phase four. Uh, then there's like the end game content update that happens afterward. Let's see. According to this, phase four is a little before summer ends. So. Before July, that's for sure. Yeah, it says here that Cataclysm Classic Rise of the Zandalari is in July. And that's and, and uh, that's a little before summer ends also. So that's like probably August, July, June. What month are we in right now? April, May, June. Yeah, that seems about right. Something like that. It's the 27th for Dragonflight patch. What? It's 23rd. I don't know who cares. I, I mean, I think a lot of people care about season four because that's going to be level 60 content. And we're, we, we want to know what the fuck kind of rating is going to happen at level 60. It's going to be a little weird because, you know, they're going to have like Cataclysm Classic launched and then a month later they're going to have season four. And it's like, Hello. see, see, retail doesn't have to worry about different versions of retail clashing within retail. Like right? now we kind of have like classic clashing within classic, you know, like it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a little weird. I don't know. Some players might have to like, you know, double dip and decide how they're going to handle all of that, you know? Yeah, everything's just launching at the same time. It's 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 kind of weird. Well, it's not the same time. It's like kind of like months apart, and um, I don't know. Like for me, I like to have at least like a two month window, um, you know, between let's say the release of one version of Classic and the other. If you do it within a month, that kind of sucks because like you want to at least enjoy. The new content. I mean, especially Cataclysm, right? Cataclysm rating is not going to be like super simple. Well, especially not heroic. You know, yeah, her heroic is not going to be like the most simplistic thing in the world. Uh, give me a second. Let me send out my Leaf Vivid video on TikTok really quick. Uh, thank you, Kaibaka. So hard finding fucking tags. On fucking TikTok, bro. The players will come back to uh, in China. Of course they will. It's China, bro. China's been wow fanatics forever. Like, how could they not come back? Is my question. You know, like, I mean, if you think European and and North American players are passionate, China's just as passionate about Warcraft or World of Warcraft as anybody else. You know. I mean, at, at one point in WoW, probably, I mean, even until recently, China was 
probably their biggest player base. The, the thing is, like, they don't go by subscription, so it's hard to gauge, like, how many players play China because I think, I believe in China, they, they pay by the hour, if I'm not mistaken. They don't pay a monthly fee. So you could definitely say, you know, who's paid for any kind of playtime in the last year and then, you know, individually and then get a get a get a gauge for that. Did you get Cata Beta? Yeah. I was I was one of the first ones in that server. For like a week it was like only like 15 of us in the Cata Beta. It was stupid. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Blizzard took a huge hit when China players, you know, when they stopped playing in China. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure how how much that would affect like their MAUs or how many subscriptions they would have gone down, right? But it's probably significant. Do you think it's ready to launch May twentieth? Yeah, sure. They got like they got like seven weeks. Like I said, I mean, when you're playing Kata, you have to realize that you're you're already playing retail. There's nothing that you know. There's nothing you that that you can do in in Kata right now that you can't do on retail. It's just obviously the talents are different, and the you know the structure of gearing and, and itemization is different. But like all the quests and the content's all there in its entirety. Like if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to practice the quests and know where all the items are and stuff ahead of time, you could just create a new character on retail and just level through all the cataclysm zones. That's the same exact quests. No quests have changed at all. Dungeons are super bugged. Oh, they definitely are. Yesterday we died. Well, I died in Throne of Thunder and I couldn't zone back in in ghost form. I had to like fucking spirit res to get in. It was kind of stupid. No, I agree. I don't think Kata is classic at all. Kata is just retail. I mean, you, you you can't really say we have two versions of retail because obviously retail is very different in, in the way that we are, are set up. But I mean, it's starting to look that way. I mean, we got the same transmog system as retail. We have uh, now reforging added. We have this dungeon journal stuff. We have... So they just they just announced like the raid lockout's gonna be like the same as it is in retail with being saved at bosses instead of raid IDs and yeah so I mean yeah I don't know Blizzard Blizzard's a bunch of fucking geniuses with that shit they're like yeah let's give them a second version of retail you know what I think it is I think they just couldn't come up with a better name than classic they definitely don't want to use they, they definitely don't want to use the word reforged that's for sure. So, you know, and remastered would be a kind of like a little bit of a lie, you know? Oh, yeah, dude, we got to bring back the Reforge light add on. That add on was fucking epic. That should just literally reforged your gear automatically for you just to help you get the exact stats that you needed. I wish that was still in the fucking game somehow. You gotta set your weights to each of your stats. It worked. It was a great add-on. At this point, it would have been better off relaunching the game entirely with as much as they keep going with classic. It should have just stayed in the vanilla or sod. Yeah, but, you know, money and stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, like, you know, money. Well, yeah, all of us content creators started with Kata for sure. That's 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 kind of like the only reason I'm playing Kata is because it's just you know, it's relatable to me. Like I said, we've come full circle. You're you, you're gonna see an old tally doing a guide video for Blackwing Descent, and then you're gonna see today's tally doing a video for Blackwing Descent, and then when you search for it on YouTube, we'll see which one comes first. <laughs> you know what though? I'm kind of expecting. 
my old Cata raid video guides to actually get views in the next couple of months, right? Because people are going to be searching for like guides on how to kill the bosses. And I'm pretty sure my videos are going to show up because they've been around for years. Yeah, alternate tally timeline. It's going to be fun. No, the, the China. They, they said China is going to get their accounts starting from ten zero five. I don't. I mean, I don't know how they're going to handle it. I'm assuming. Here's what I think is going to happen. Everyone's. Everyone in China is going to get their accounts back. Right? They were frozen at ten zero five. They'll start at ten zero five, but they're all going to log in, and then every, everyone's inventory. You're just going to get full fucking four eighty nine mythic gear going into the last, uh, going into the next expansion. That's it. That's what you're going to get. You're going to log in. You're going to have a full set of fucking gear, all trinkets, all weapons, all everything. And then you just go. Yeah. The, the one thing I did, I, I've said about, um, about the whole, uh, like death wing thing with Kata is I'm really hoping the classic team looks at dragon soul and says, we we got to do something about the because I swear to I mean here's my here's what I think is going to happen I think Kata is going to be successful I think players are going to love starting Kata and having three raids to go at you got Firelands and Delari but when Dragon Soul comes out bro if they don't change spine I think that phase is dead I have I have never in my life in the history of WoW seen a raid with such scrutiny and such negativity as Spine of Deathwing in Dragon Soul. Like I I I, I think the the population of the game will plummet to the ground. Like every time we even talk what the fuck? Every time we even talk about Dragon Soul, it's always Spine of Deathwing as the problem. You know? Is it what they're doing with LFR? I don't think so. Right, let me park my guy here because I'm going to farm some of those wild offerings soon. But I need to level up my warlock a little this morning. Excuse me. I mean, to be fair, all they really have to do in a Spine of Deathwing encounter is make it so that you don't get knocked off the platform. That's it. Pretty much. Or leave that mechanic on heroic and leave normal the way it is and, and, and take that mechanic out of normal you do that it's tolerable you know that's it that's all you gotta do good memories trolling in lfr Shit, i don't think those memories are good uh let's see If anyone's leveling an Ashen Veil, you need a you need a gnome to hang out with. Let me know. I'm gonna see if I can find a group. I heard Dungeon and Cat is the Hour of Twilight one, the the time one, where you fight like Jaina and Sylvanas. Can you play Cata Instant with a boost? I don't know. Do you get a boost with the uh, Epic Edition of uh, Cata? I don't know if you do, actually. I know you can buy a boost right now on Wrath. If you wanted to. I have a 70 boost, I think. Does my 70 boost turn into an 80 boost at, at pre-patch or something? Expensive edition, you get a boost for Kata. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. I, I think I have one. Because I, I... But did I purchase that version of WoW? I don't think I purchased the Epic Edition, though. Let me see real quick. No, I only have a 70 Wrath boost. I don't have an 81. So I, I guess I don't have the upgrade. Let me see something real quick. I want to see how much the, the WoW token is.
Yeah, 10k ain't too bad. Just saying. Ten K is not too bad. So I said I had an update in Wrath. Update all my shit. Classic got some updates. Yeah, I, I would definitely disagree with the fact that Blizzard focuses more on classic than retail. There's just more versions of classic, but retail is obviously has always been the, the the more highly played and more superior version. Or else, you know, if they wanted to go full blown classic, they would have more more people on the classic team. You know, classic team maybe thirty people, retail team two hundred plus, because it's new content. You know. I'm not going to say eventually they're going to run out of ideas for, uh, you know. Yeah, it's like classic kind of like just works on its own, right? Like everything in classic is already done. And GDKP in Kata, though. I don't know. GDKP never really existed in Kata. And to be fair, I don't think you really need to. Because of the way the bosses work and the raid lockouts work and shit. You know? Holy shit, I am slowed to the ground. Thought this was nerfed. Yeah, but it's still the best experience per hour. There's no other better way to get more EXP than this. They're, they're, they just nerfed this so they, and they increased this to give you an option to go out and do dungeons if you wanted to. I mean, at the end of the day, retail is what brings money to WoW. That's what's going to get the most subs. That's what's going to get the box prices. That's what's going to get all the cosmetics and merchandise and everything from the store. You know, it just it is what it is. I think I think we should be kind of fortunate to have versions of classic just to kind of chill on and play. And, you know, there's a, a there's a huge, you know, population that fucking plays only classic, which is good. We're doing what Blizzard wants us to do. We're, we're playing retail, getting bored of that and then going to another version of WoW and trying it out. And then going back, and then going back, and then going back, and then going back, and then going to, and then going to the newest classic, then to the newest retail patch, then to the newest classic, then to the newest retail patch. You know. And if you don't, if, and if you only like retail, then you kind of just fuck off and play something else and unsub and resub when some new comes out, which is every two months. You, you see what I'm saying? Like if you're if you're just if you're just a normal WoW player, it's kind of hard to unsub nowadays. 
because there's something new happening now every month, literally every month. It's 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 super fucking hard. Like you, you can join a brand new raid patch, like a brand new season, and then be like, "All right, well, I, I I did the season. I got like Keystone Hero or whatever. Uh, it's been about three weeks. I'm gonna unsub, and then literally a month, like three weeks later, you'll be like, oh." A new patch is coming out. Guess I'll resub. And at that point, I think the average person will say, then why am I unsubbing to begin with, right? Like, <laughs> there's like no reason to unsub, bro. Bro, man, these fucking elites, dude. So, so fucking many of them. I want to close these before new content, more like eight months. It's like four and a half to five. But you're also going to get 10 to 7 in the middle of all that with whatever pandemonium time walking is and some other shit. But like I said, I mean, season four has something that every player always wants, which is higher item levels, you know, more gear, easier ways to get gear, easier ways to level all your alts, easier ways to get your characters ready for the war within for your war bands, you know? Oh, for sure, dude. Bl Bl Blizzard is killing it with the seasonal content on, on every version of WoW. I, like, I don't think years ago you could have convinced me that we were going to have five versions of WoW to play, you know? Yeah, pe people going to be going back, getting their fucking, what is it, like 535 grief torch and shit. It's, yeah, season four is going to be a riot. But it's there, right? It's there in case you want to play it. That's why there's very minimal work that gets done on seasonal cons on like you know shit like season four, right? There's maybe like five, ten devs that work on the final seasons of WoW, and their job is just to give you shit really fast and allow you to get your achievements, mounts, and kill everything super quick and get some good gear. I don't know what they're gonna do with season of discovery, honestly. You can't, I mean, you could kind of restart it all over again, but I think that would be boring. But, you know, then again, classic WoW players are all about the refresh aspect of WoW, so they'll be all about it. Like, I wouldn't do all this shit twice. But I also don't see them going Season of Discovery, Burning Crusade or something. That'd be kind of weird. I mean, they could they could definitely keep releasing content for this, you know. Oh yeah, they they would have to have more developmental power to make an SOD TBC. Because, yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of our runes that we have right now are abilities that already exist in Wrath and BC. They have to come up with a whole whole new shit. I think Sod was a test phase for a Classic Plus release. Stop it. This is Classic Plus. <laughs> you guys are... I, the, I tell you, man, every time I see that comment, bro, it's just... You know, it's just... Just pump, just pump it. Just pump it. Imagine, imagine thinking that that fucking SOD is not Classic Plus, dude. Dude, that copium is so fucking real. That copium is so fucking real, dude. Testing grounds for Classic Plus. So this is the testing gr grounds for Classic Plus. What, we got to do this all over again eventually? 
Is that, is that what we got to do? We got to do this shit all over again? I just always stay sub uh, because I figured if you want new content, it's got to be paid for. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's also more like not, it's not just like a new content. It's also just being able to always have a new update to the game. I think that, that I mean, that's their plan. They want every I think they want every two months on every version of the game to be something new to play. Because so far, retail is going on an eight week patch cadence ish. You know, barring end of expansion or holidays. Class, cl seems like Classic is also going for that 8 to 10 week as well. Wait, did I just hop back in the dream? Fuck, man. Well, I guess I got to turn in. This bug sucks. Let's try that again. Well, they already have affixes in, in Wrath. We're going to have it in Kata, too. The Titan, Alpha, Beta dungeons or whatever. I think that's really cool. I actually, like, I was really surprised when I went back to um, Wrath of the Lich King for a little bit. And I tried that shit. And I was like, bro, this shit's actually pretty lit. It's not Mythic Plus. It's more like almost like challenge modes. But you just, you know, you just talk to an NPC. Tanks get their buff. Healers get their buff. DPSs get their buff. And you just fucking go. And you just slam, you know. It's, it's a pretty cool system. Even Mythic Plus and WoW, I think, needs a little bit of, like, a mini revamp, right? Going into War Within. Like, I'm hoping we get, like, a whole new slew of app fixes. I hope they, I hope they remove Sanguine. As a matter of fact, man, I'm, I'm hoping they remove all the app fixes. I kind of want to see a version of, um, of Mythic Plus where it's almost like challenge modes where you just, you know, it's just timers and damage and health and that's it. There's no app fixes and there's no, you know, maybe not even a timer. You know, it should just be based on like what what level dungeon you clear and just let players push as high as they possibly can push. Even if it means, you know, a plus 35 or a plus 48 or a plus 27. Nope. Can't carry any more of anything, huh? Jesus. I'm already on that quest. Is that 11? No, we don't do 11. Share all that shit. Do you pay on stay safe? We'll have a boxing match. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say again. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually genuinely asking, like. Damn. 
Text Stacy with his tweet. Uh, can, can I see it? You can link it if you want. I know he had Twitter. Look, bro. Ain't, 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 ain't no way some fucking nerds are going to be out there fucking boxing. You know what I'm saying? Like, He was there for a long time, I think. That's what I'm saying, yeah. It would be it would be funny to have a streamer boxing match against Peyo. And much to my surprise, he DM me and said he'd be down to have a boxing match. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think Stay Safe will fuck him up. I was saying, bro. Yeah, I don't think y'all have seen Stay Safe in real life. In real life, he's actually he's a buff fucking dude. He like he he works out a lot. Like the dude's fucking ripped. I'm not sure how he is now because he's like you know, he's a dad. Things change when you're a dad. But I mean, the 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 dude is fucking. He's pretty. He's pretty fucking jacked. If there was some Vegas bets going on in this boxing match, I would definitely be putting some money on fucking. I probably put all my money on fucking Stay Safe 100. percent Oh, this fucking guy. Pale goes to the gym a lot, too. Yeah, I think Stay Safe will fuck him up. He said Pale's in his mid-40s. Ain't no way he's in his mid-40s. Pale's not older than me, bro. I'm 43. Okay, bro. Ain't no way he's 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 43. Can I, I think he's like he's I think he's in his mid-30s, I'm pretty sure. Uh, really? Did they fucking tag that shit? Like how? That is actually pretty funny, though. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm dead. See, they're, they're, they're here talking about increasing the amount of fucking... Uh, increasing the amount of whatchamacallit mobs and shit for these quests i'm like yo decrease the mobs please <laughs> i don't i want there to be less mobs bro i just gotta whisper about my about my ship being uh what you would call it that my ranks and my abilities are, are not updated. Other people who have those whispers, like the automatic fucking talent checkers and shit. Tyler MCN, what's going on, Mike? Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Don't forget his power gun will be his drug to buff up. Power gum. <laughs> those are funny, those products, man. I, I've had some of those before. They're pretty good. Some of them taste good. It's just gum with caffeine in it, really. Like, like to be fair, like all the ingredients you put in an energy drink, you can put into a, a stick of gum. You can put it on soap. There's, there's like caffeinated soaps out there, bro. You know? There's all kinds of shit. 
And then there's the clean shit, like Advanced GG. Good advertisement right there for you guys. Mm. Speaking of which, we're going to be getting a Hammer Squad half jug combo with a Tally emote sticker coming pretty soon. Check, check, check this beauty out, bro. It's the uh, ADV half jug. It's going to be fucking lit. It's going to be fucking lit, dude. Coming to a ADV command near you soon. Or just drink water. I mean, nothing wrong with a little caffeine, bro. If you look at the ingredients for ADV, you know, I, I always say ADV and Sneak are the two cleanest, you know, gamer supplements. And though I just call them energy supplements in general. There is out there. Diabetic friendly, keto friendly, everything friendly. I've had several viewers like who have, you know, diabetes and shit, take their, you know, literally take a tub of my uh, of ADV to their doctor. Be like, hey, are, are, is this shit OK for me? And I haven't once heard anything negative about it. So it's always, it's always good to support a product like that. They support me and they support you. I see a lot of you guys are getting your tally mouse mats in the mail. That's pretty cool. The rips, the rips mouse mat. Yeah, well, G Fuel has a lot of gunk in it, unfortunately. And and don't get me wrong, I mean, G Fuel, you know, besides their their the corporate part of their company being shit, you know, which is why I left them a, a while ago. I mean, you know, even though there's a lot of gunk, like the like the Malto Draxton and stuff is in there, that's why their tubs are bigger and they're more full. You know, they had really awesome flavors, you know? But, I mean, a lot of their shit that was in their stuff technically wasn't 100% as... It, it wasn't, to put it lightly, it's not as clean as Advanced GG. It's nowhere near. And they're a lot more... And ADV, just like Sneak over in Europe, a lot more transparent about their ingredients. Like you, you go on a site right now, you want to buy like a Tally strawberry peach or you want to buy like a Luxos peach iced tea. You look at the ingredients, it's it's literally on the label. There's no like, uh, what do they call it when they uh, when they mix the flavors in drinks? I know like uh, C4, C4 does it. Yeah, there's no there's no proprietary blends. That's what it is. There's no proprietary blends in any of uh, in any like advanced product. It's literally every single ingredient is on the label to the exact milligram per serving. And you could go online, copy and paste the medical term from the advanced website, research it on your own and see if it's good or bad for you. And at least ADV also gives you the, the, like, the right amount so that you can actually have an effect from what you're drinking. I'm probably old enough to be most of y'all's grandma. Not me. If you're old enough to be my grandma, then you old, old. <laughs> then you old, old. So it's about to go up a couple million. I don't say a couple million. I think it'll take a long time for the Chinese player base to put their trust back into Blizzard after they after the whole Net East thing, to be honest. I, I would say within the next year. There's probably going to be about a, a definitely without a doubt like a million plus players in China. Could be more though because you know more versions of Classic have come out since um, they stopped over there, including you know, uh, you know, Wrath ICC, SOD, Hardcore, right? So I mean, shit, man. There's just a lot. Good luck, friend. Be careful. Goddess, watch over you. Del Nadris. Good luck, friend. I'm still making some pretty good fucking gold, let me tell you. I think I've made about 122 gold so far. It's not bad, right?
Not bad at all. Not bad, Mr. Towley. Not bad. Like I, I, I just think on in the next expansion for a while, they just need a clean slate, bro, when it comes to um affixes. Like that that would be like the dream, just to see like, you know, ten new affixes. Like I say, either new affixes or none at all. Because an affix is always a negative, right? And people hate negatives, so simple as that, really. But yeah, I mean, like, I definitely want to see a version of WoW where there's, like, no timer, no affixes. Maybe just keep Tyrannical and Fortified. I've, I, I've never minded Tyrannical and Fortified. That's the way it used to be, right? And that's the way it should have it been. And just, like I said, just let people just go off. You know, keep collecting your IO or whatever, and then just go as high as you can. And then I, and then I want to see more rewards, too. I want to see more rewards for people that are pushing... Uh, you know, every five intervals of, of dungeons. Like, you know, get get your portals at 20 with your appearance. And then maybe if you can get, you know, all dungeons at 25, you get like a full transmog set or something. Like, I think to me, uh, like the rewards are definitely lacking a lot when it comes to uh, Mythic Plus. Like, in my opinion, if, if fucking... PvPers get like crazy fucking flying bounce and shit with awesome armor, then we should be able to get some cool shit like that too. Sharing what I can. All right. Are we good to go or what? The fuck? <laughs> I'll take your star. Dude, the fact that people are, are literally selling still the fucking quest items. I'm missing the egg again. Same. I, I think people just don't know how to actually share these quests properly. Like with five people, we should literally almost have every single quest. You know? Well, it shouldn't. It should. The, the mentality shouldn't be Mythic Plus needs the incentive. It should just be give us the rewards because we're doing something better than we did in the previous dungeons. That should be the reward. Blizzard's, Blizzard's mentality shouldn't be, oh, we need more people to PvP, so give them better shit. Don't give Mythic players anything. You still got to reward the people that are highly participating in, in your most used content. You know? Like, it's kind of weird. Oh, we need a Dragon Elite. Hold on. Where is it? Is it up in the sky?
Is no one killing the elite? I guess not this early. We gotta kill the elite almost in every fucking camp. New quest log is full. Oh, is it? Oh, because fucking someone added the one and two to it. The and three. People still don't fucking... People still add that shit, bro? And someone gave me 10 and 11. And fucking 12. Where's the... I'm lost because everyone else is fucking, like, dying and shit. Where, where, Where is the... Okay, it's over there. Still super weird that, like, Blizzard increased the EXP, but we still kind of don't give a rat's ass about, you know, fucking killing anything still. I think, I think it's all about being in like a, in a better layer too. Oh great, the fucking boss is hitting me. You don't get better gear after the seventeens. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean you're right. I mean just the mythic track of the gear goes up. But then again, they can't just keep scaling the gear higher the higher you go. That's why I'm saying you have to start implementing like rewards to incentivize people to actually want to do 20s and want to go past that barrier. You know, they're hoping that the new structure in Season 4 of Mythic Plus is going to help casual players ease into um, keys. I don't know. I, I still think that, I mean, the change was needed to, to create a squish for keys so that, you know, a 1 through a 10 is an 11 to a 20. And now Mythic Zero is a 1 through a 10 instead, but just, you know, no timer, no affix is nothing, which is cool. But it's still it's still a little weird to me, man, because it's kind of like, I don't know. I just, you know, obviously I'm not part of that world of content where I witness people dying on plus twos and threes. But, it, I mean, they, they state that there was a feedback about people having a hard time getting into Mythic Plus Dungeons in the 1 to 10 key levels and i was like really <laughs> i was like i don't know i mean i guess i don't I, I just i i don't expect that and i usually think like a casual very very easily that's what i've learned to do over the past 14 years of streaming but like even even thinking for the casual player base i say to myself man players are having such an issue with like sevens and eights and sixes and fours that blizzard has to eliminate the one through ten process almost entirely you know it's crazy. Like every now and then I'll see when y'all come in the channel and be like, yo, we just fucking we, we just couldn't time a plus two, and I'm like, how? <laughs> like I just, it's like how does that, how does that happen like it's just tank over pulling t I mean, at that point i would say if you can't complete a two with decent item level then someone's just trolling like there's got to be a troll in the group like the healer's just saying let me see how far these guys can go without me even touching them or something like like i i feel like the the amount of bad gameplay and bad stuff that has to happen for a plus two to fail is like, I don't know. When the 10 is more elitist than 15s, I doubt that. Although I personally don't do any keys under 20 when I... Uh, I, I think the the key levels of 18 and higher are way better than I would say 11 through 17 for sure. 
because 11 through 17 are usually the people that want to act like they're doing 20s and they request the most outlandish shit. Obviously, if you're recruiting for any key above an 18, you already know who you're going to be playing with because you know how to check for their information very easily, especially with like the add-on that I have. Morning, babe. Come on, let's Tice. Nice. There you go. Oh, oh, well, someone's super excited, huh? Someone woke up excited. Yeah. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Okay, whip it. It's strong there. Good. Good. You're squeaking already, Oni? Is it squeaky time? What you got? What you got? <laughs> Oni's in a good mood this morning. She's 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 gone full squeaky. She's gone full squeaky mode. Act dog. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. I think you underestimate how bad people could be at this game. I, I definitely do. I definitely do. 100%. I feel like in order for a plus two or three or four or five to fail, you would have to compile and put together two to five really inadequate bad players, right? Like, I feel like even in a plus two, like a good tank and a good healer or one good DPS can carry so fucking hard. Like, it's almost like the stars have to align, but in the most negative way possible, you know, kind of like what the Eclipse was supposed to do, you know, bring about the rapture and shit. Like, the rapture would have to fucking happen for a plus two to come together with five terrible players that cannot finish a dungeon. If we don't have good gear and logs, we're about running keys. I don't know. I think, it's, I, think, I think it's worse on Classic than it is on Retail, bro. Be careful. Del Nadris. Good luck, friend. Because on retail, it's very easy to ask for what you need, right? Be careful. On, 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 on retail, it's just you need this IO. And most of the time, you don't even need to check it either. You could just literally look at, uh, you know, like a good week or that'll tell you literally every single aspect of the person you're inviting to your group and what they've done. Like, my week where it tells me, like, how many bosses you've cleared in raids, what your IO was last season, what your IO is this season, how many of a certain dungeon that we're going for. Like, let's say I'm inviting you for Brackenhide Hollow. It'll tell me that you've already completed, the you know, a high level of Brackenhide Hollow or uh, a high level of uh, anything, really. So, I mean, I think having add-ons like that, as much as people don't like it, I think, for me, they're absolutely necessary. Because it just literally gives me an idea of who I'm playing with. And is it possible you could have purchased all that? Sure. But, I mean, I highly doubt it. Like, if I see that, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to, like, you know, completely call people out in, in a dungeon. But if I see that, like, you know, your IO is, like, exactly 2,400 or 2,500, and last season you were exactly 2,500, and you, have like, and you haven't rated at all and shit, and, and you kind of don't seem like you're really there all in the head, you know, uh, my, I'm, I'm going to be thinking, well, I'm, I'm assuming this person probably bought their shit. Oh shit, I'm I'm getting oh shit, I'm, I might get everything. Oh, I'm just missing number five. Fuck, bro. Hold on, hold on. I got my is my quest log full. Uh 
There's five. Damn, full log, dude. Full log, let's fucking go. I've, I've actually never had a full log like that. You're going to buy carries I'm going to play the game. I don't know. People just like to, you know, buy their carries and get their gear so they could just, I don't know, have the transmogs and have the achievements, really. But people do that. They're usually just buying achievements or buying transmogs or buying mounts. I mean, last night we sold Farrakh. You know, we, we did a Farrakh sale, you know, the, the Duke. And the, and, the, and the hunter that was in there, he was like 3K plus IO. But he just doesn't raid, but he wants to mount from the raid. So he just paid for it. You know, a, a cool like eight, nine million or something. And if anyone needs a frock mount, we're selling it on Illidan. Well, it actually, it doesn't matter where we're selling it, right? Because I think you could do a cross server now. So it was a one shot. Well, it was a two shot. Or was it a one shot? I think it was a two shot. Oh, yeah, and if you need, like, AOTC, man, like, now, like, that shit's cheap as fuck. It's, like, 20K gold now, maybe 15K. You just, you know, they, they just bring, like, 10 buyers and bring 20 raiders and just, like, destroy that shit. It's a lot of good money. Hello. Yeah, I mean, if you have, I, I always say, if you have the gold, why not? You know, why, 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 you know, why the fuck not? If you already have the gold, I am listening. Uh, where's the boss? Well, let's see if people want to tank him or not. I'm tanking. I'm helping brother out. What are you guys selling it for? I have seen some crazy amounts on my server. I mean, we, we sell it for whatever the norm is going, with going raid is out there. Uh, I think right now it's like 9 million. Usually all mythic rating guilds will just compete with each other in price, but no one will severely undercut. I mean, there might be a couple of guilds that's really undercut, but I doubt those are the guilds that are actually, like, good enough to, like, one-shot it. Yeah, only 1,700 to kill that guy. That's not that much. I thought, I thought they increased the EXP of these mobs. I feel like I was getting more. Well, I guess they are lower level, though. Yeah, people who pay for Mythic Plus rating definitely pay for just amounts. I, I don't really see a lot of sales going on for, like, Keystone Hero for the portals. You know? Maybe, maybe for the Mog. But you get the Mog from AOTC, right? So, Or is it Cutting Edge? Might be, that might be Cutting Edge, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, but that dude last night made out like a bandit, the buyer. He ended up with like two or I think like two mythic Cheerios and a bunch of gear too that dropped. He got all that shit.
Oh, we got a healer in this group. That's fucking perfect. I don't know how this fucker has not been nerfed yet, by the way. Like this, just Shredder hits harder than some of the, now than some of the Sunken Temple fucking bosses. You know? Look at that shit. Like he, he fucking slaps harder than, than the fucking Sunken Temple bosses, dude. When's Alva starting? Soon? You know, I can't give you a date, right? Like. Within the next 10 days. Please. Mm, can't do that, man. Can't do that. I know, right? It's kind of hard. You know, you're probably going to every channel asking every creator that you think is going to be in the alpha. Hey, man, when's it coming out? Hoping one of us just says it and says, fuck it. We don't give a shit about our relationship with Blizzard. We're just going to fucking tell you, right? Like, yeah, unforge, bro. Unforge, unforge, unforge. But soon. Why is that? Within the next 10 days. We're almost there. Yeah, also note that the first versions of Alpha are always very bare bones, and they, they don't, they're only doing probably one zone at a time, just like they did with uh, Dragonflight. And I'm, I'm sure not all hero talents are going to be available. I think they're probably going to do that slowly too. Like each, each week they'll probably like release like a new tree or something. Is there any stream you're having a shorter stream or a day off in the next 10 days? Absolutely. And when though when those days come, I will let you know. Where's my encouragement like this? Oh, dude, if I was on a PvP server, I wouldn't even bother with this shit, bro. Fucking. Jesus Christ, man. I wish it looked like day one. That's what I wish it looked like. Got my guy with my uncle who works at Blizzard. That's happening tomorrow, guys. It's a hundred percent not happening tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I think I don't, I don't think people are asking me when Alpha's coming out because they think they're getting it. I think they just want to know when they can see the new content for the expansion so they can make a decision whether they want to pre-order it or not. Pretty much, you know. Oh, give me that focus. I haven't had focus in like five days. It's been five days since I've had my crack cocaine liquid. Uh, the PTR is actually not 1027. It's 1025 still. It'll be 1027 in about a week and a half when season four comes out. So you're saying there's a chance. There's no shot. There's alpha today or tomorrow. You you'll see the hype. It's coming soon, 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 soon. Sooner than a normal soon. TM is soon. Yeah, I mean, 
unless you're a friends and family of Blizzard or you're you've always gotten into an alpha in the past because you you were previously a friends and family of someone at Blizzard, then odds are you'll get in. Maybe, maybe not like the first wave at all. Like the first wave of alpha is always friends and family plus like content creators and media. You know, because they wanna they want people to you know be out there making videos and shit and all that, you know. You know, popular streamers, like people like Tim the Tatman will have alpha, you know, and, and and fucking like Shroud and other people like that will get it. You know, influencer shit. So Friday. I don't think Friday's a good day for an alpha, to be honest with you. Out of third out of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, past alphas have come out more on a on a Wednesday and Thursday than any other day. But who knows? Could be a Friday. Friday's just a trap because if something's wrong with the alpha, then we go into the weekend with issues and they never want that. The only time an alpha has come out on a Friday is if they targeted a Wednesday or Thursday, but they had issues and then and then they finally were able to release it on a Friday. You go on a strict NDA when alpha releases? No, there is no NDA for alpha. You can stream all of it. As always, for the past seven years. Eight, well, no shit, man. More than that now. Like almost eight, eight years. My incursion mission uh, giver is camped 24-7 by every alliance. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't be doing incursions in the PvP server, bro. Fuck that. I, I, I would have just started a new character on fucking Wild Growth <laughs> at that point. Am I bringing in any of the quests? Turn in, dudes. No, don't see any. Oh, well. Time to hit 48. Yeah, I mean, I think the new expansion is always nice. New raids, new story, new dungeons, new systems, new little things they add here and there. I mean, we're, we're, we're heading into, you know, the 20th anniversary of WoW, right? I mean, at this point, uh, the amount of stuff that they could possibly do that's new systematically starts to diminish as the years go by. I mean, you know, de delves to me are just like scenarios with a companion, right? And they're going to obviously throw in a cool, comp oh man, I'm in a dream again. They're, they're going to throw in a cool companion with like, you know, with, uh, with every season, probably, you know, I think they said brand bronze beard is going to be like our companion that goes with us in the delves and, but that's all they are, right? Delves are just dungeons. I'm pretty sure there's some cool mechanics in there, but there's nothing new about it. Like, Warbands are, all, you know, is a new feature. Um, but, I mean, all that really is is just account-wide shit. Stuff that we've been asking for for a long time. So, it's nothing that, that's also not, like, a new thing that other games don't do. Lost Ark has been doing the Warband thing for since its start, and so have other games. Yeah, I, I would say the biggest change to me to the new expansion is definitely the hero abilities because that would definitely change the way you at least play the game and how you attack and all that other shit, you know? Kind of like the hybrid style of playing within a specific spec tree. Oh, yeah, for gearing, it'll be pretty good. From I, I feel like... I feel like the next expansion is more of like a huge, huge thing, like a huge, huge, like quality of life expansion to me. You know. watch over you. Good luck, friend. I mean, it, it should be a fucking alt bonanza <laughs> when you think about it. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Come on, give me all the good ones. Give me all the good ones. Fuck. Nice. We're taking that. 
We're taking that. Taking some of those. I'm getting rid of these. Delves in the Dead Mines, delves with the ghosts of Arthas, Mantho, Nilladin, and Merkilla as your companions in a new expansion. Yeah, Ghosts of Arthas would be pretty cool. I mean, we we, we are back in kind of like the, the Metzen creative style of WoW, so uh, I'm hoping the story doesn't disappoint. Pretty much. This fastest loving 40 to 50. Yep, it still is. As long as you're constantly doing the missions. Easiest and least effort. You know? The fuck. People keep sharing the fucking one and threes and shit. Oh my god. Sigh. Fucking sigh. I'm telling these guys not to share it, and they keep fucking sharing it, man. <laughs> they could have made this system a lot better, too, by the way. Like. Let's try to make a weak order to make this work, and it didn't fucking stop, 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 stop. Oh, my fucking God. You know what? I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to go. <laughs> yeah, we, we thought we had a weak aura that was going to be able to decline all the all that shit. No more of this Disney family shit. I don't understand where the hell you got the family Disney shit out of it. I don't know. I know, I didn't see that in Dragonflight. I saw some cool killings and some fucking body smashing and cutting. I, I, I don't understand what's Disney about it. Well, of course, if Asmund says it, then we don't have to repeat it, right? And then say it's true. Or else, you know, we create 16 more React videos, goddammit. Where's my cut? Shit. I don't know. Ice Dragon just randomly family now is a little dis little Disney ish. Yeah, but that but that fucking Varanoth or whatever had a history, right? Like there's a storyline that ties her to, you know, like Alex Straza. So it's not like that's not Disney. That's just part of the fucking story. Yeah, one of the dragons flipped. That's that's cool with me. I don't know. Yeah, they they, they were already a family before they were a family. You can't call you can't call the expansion Disney and not know the actual story. The whole we are family stuff is a big cringe, bro. That happens in every expansion. By the end of the expansion, all the characters and the heroes, both Alliance and Horde, and the and the story people are always family. Every single fucking expansion, it has not changed in twenty years. We're always family. The switch from I kill to I cuddle was a stretch. 
don't know what you're talking about, man. A lot of people died in fucking Dragonflight. Go run before we all die. We need to go back to orc kill human because human hate orc narrative. Oh, please don't. That's just so fucking boring. They, 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 they did fucking 13 years of that shit, bro. I'm good. I'm fucking good. No, you all gonna die. Yep, yep, you all did. You all dead as shit. What do you think Thrall is gonna die? Hmm, probably midnight. I say midnight's a good time to die. They say it was complaining about Dragon Flight's marketing not being manly enough or something. That's a hot take. <laughs> say that in public and try not to get canceled. <laughs> okay. Oh, bro. Yeah, I don't think someone... I, I don't think I'm going to take advice or any takes from someone who, like, literally does not play retail at all. Ever. Unless they're being paid to. So, come on. Yeah, I, I don't take advice from classic players that love to do the Elwyn storyline 16 times every year, okay? <laughs> Having murderous dragons isn't manly enough. She look like a man. Well, I'm not saying they went deep into the story of Varanoth switching sides, but you can see why she would based on the history between her and uh, Alistraza. I think, I, think, I, think I think they even had some stuff in the books, too, that came out. The, um, the latest book that they launched. Had a bunch of other backstory stuff, too. The only thing badass about Wad was not being able to play for the first fucking three days. How much gold are you getting? I don't know. Enough. I've made about 140 gold in eight levels. I mean, that could have been obviously 600 plus by now if it was the original gold stuff, but they took it away. Gosh darn it. Wait, which, which, which follower is that? Oh, Maestra. I need Maestra. Follow, 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 follow. Yeah, man. I mean, what, what's Disney about cocaine breathing fucking fire dragons and, and, and villainous void lords and shit? You gonna put Cat on a PTR anytime soon? I mean, it's a beta. Was, 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 I mean, was there a Wrath PTR back in the day? Wait, I didn't get credit for that. Oh, there we go. I'm about to say, come on now. Wait, I don't, I don't have Doran. Any Doran enjoyers? Coming down the pipeline? Baranoth is like one of those loner dragons, you know, doesn't know who she, be who, who, who she belongs to, doesn't have an identity, really. 
but you know kind of went with the first you know uh figure that would take her in as as part of their own which is what eridicron did and just with any group you start to see how the people that you are following really are <laughs> once you start seeing the actual agenda which is what she saw when he was doing dawn of the infinites then that kind of triggered Those are Wrath PTR. Oh, cool. I don't see why there's a need for a PTR. I mean, they'll probably end up just doing raid testing in the beta. I don't know. I mean, we're like seven weeks away from now the release of Kata. It's like literally right around the corner. Farewell. Goddess watch over you. Del Nadris. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they'll have to put a pre-patch on a PTR before they can release it publicly. Good luck, friend. Farewell. Oh no, the EXP is going down. Excuse me. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, 13. Okay, we're good there. Boom. Boom. And boom. Yeah, they nerfed the experience on Monday. By about 50%. But then they increased your your Discoverer's Delight by 25%, which I thought was a really bad trade-off. I think this should have easily just been 100. It should have been a 50% for a 50%. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. We don't want that one. At this point, I'm ready to, like, not auto-accept shit. Like, real talk. <laughs> like, I'm ready to just stop accepting shit from people. There you go. Find some good ones. Nope, nope, nope. Decline, 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 decline. Nope, fuck. Fuck. So, someone's trolling for sure. How do I get back into China? Uh, Blizzard and NetEase and Microsoft came to an agreement and are back to working together again as of yesterday. Because Bobby's not around anymore, and NetEase hated Bobby, but NetEase seems to love Phil Spencer. Our overlord, Phil Spencer. Hooking it up, bro. Hooking it up. Let's hope the prices of stuff comes down now. Um, like the prices of what? Like, what would come down in price from China playing again? We, we, we didn't get discounts when they were around before anyway. <laughs> Groceries, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, really, like, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to figure out, like, what, what would go down in price. Fuck. I hate life right now. Why didn't the eclipse just take us? Instead of me having to accept these fucking quests. They think that more people buying will cause the price to go down. I mean, that's never happened in the history of WoW. 
If anything, prices of the stuff in the auction house will go up. We're, we're not connected to China. How is, it, how is any of that going to go up? I'm so confused. What are you guys talking about right now? Bro. Because <laughs> the quests are taking spots in my fucking inventory, bro. That's why. I'll probably just get rid of this thermoplug one, too, because fuck this. Might as well start making some fucking room. All right. Are we ready to go? What are you waiting on? Chat be drew. Uh, yeah, please. They don't need hers. Should I give her a phone when you can? Uh-huh. Nah, man. The, 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 we, we hit almost 400k because of, like, releases of other versions of WoW and shit for gold trading. Good to go. Let's roll. Roll out. Boom, boom. It is 400k. And that was like temporarily though. It wasn't like it was like a all the entire time. I know because I bought gold on retail when it was at its highest. Well, at least on NA, I don't remember it being 400. I know it was like 380 or something like that. I agree. I, th I think Blizzard should make uh, movies that are more anime, uh, anime, not anime, but like, you know, animated more than the real life. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think we're just having a weird conversation because, I mean, who really cares whether it's 400k or 370 the way it is right now, right? It's it's still a, a lot whether China started with us or not with us, whether they joined our servers or not joined our servers. I don't think China going back to China and playing in China is going to make our token like 310 or 280. Or else it would have happened already. You were telling me the Chinese market playing in on, on NA and EU are literally controlling the entirety of the token? I that I don't believe. If you're in Louisiana, Mississippi, hope you you're 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 looking out for some serious weather. Uh oh. We got some rain coming, boys. The rain gods coming out. i to do some fucking work. I don't know. I don't think people understand. Like, wow is 20 years of lore. Yeah, fuck that. It's more than that. It's, you got to count Warcraft, too. It's, it's 30 plus years of lore, man. I mean, they, they would have to make... Like a Netflix series of like 13, 15 seasons just to tell the whole story from different perspectives. You know? Yeah, man. Tornadoes do suckage. Heal me. I can, bro. Huh? 
how is this guy fucking immune to which what, what is it called? Drain life, bro. Shadowlands the movie. Yeah, that'll never happen. I don't see that shit ever happening, bro. Shadowlands the movie. We need Warcraft 4 so we have lore after the World Soul Saga. I mean, I would say Warcraft 4 after the saga's over would be a, a, a good enough time to release it. I mean, for all we know, they're probably already working on Warcraft 4 to get ready for 2028. Never know. I mean, I mean, for years, I mean, Blizzard sometimes just keeps stuff around and hidden for a long time. There, there could be a team of like just 10 developers working on Warcraft 4 right now, and then it could possibly increase over time. I would get more excited once they start like officially trying to hire. You know, hiring for, you know, a new unnamed RTS or something, right? Then you know that's Warcraft 4. <laughs> Or StarCraft, uh, what is it? What would it be? StarCraft 3? Like, that's how you know that shit would be going down, dude. Well, they were hiring for the survival IP, but they all got fired, so that's unfortunate. Recruiting for unknown project. Oh, is that already in their in their shit? I don't I don't follow their recruitment page, so I don't know. With the riot MMO, dead as fuck, bro. I'm just waiting for a year or two from now until the riot MMO gets officially canceled. I feel like the I, I, I feel like the the statement they made a couple weeks ago is basically a prelude to that. The moment they said it was getting a hard reset, we knew it was over. Oh, for sure. Can you imagine that, dude? Four years of work down the drain to restart it all over again? Yeah, okay. Ain't no way, bro. Was a New World similar, though? What do you mean? I don't know, man. New New World Riot comparison is pretty pretty different. New World just took out PvP and added more PVE in. That's all they did. And Amazon doesn't have one of the you know not one of the most successful. MOBA of all time, plus the, you know a shooter and a bunch of other games in their arsenal as well that they can rely on. They don't really need an MMO. Ah, oh, fuck me. I mean, I think Riot sees the next uh, five to six years and probably sees what, everything WoW is doing, and they're like, you know, why try and compete? You know? Because for a company like Tencent, who owns Riot, it has to be monetarily beneficial long, long term to support something as big as an MMO. You probably need more. You probably need more developers for an MMO than you would for a MOBA. So they, they would be trying to tackle a very, very, very big project that needs constant updates all the time on on levels way, way above a MOBA or an FPS. 
Del Nadris. I'm already on that quest. Damn. It's like, God damn, I ain't got nothing. There we go. There's one. Yeah, I mean, WoW has WoW needs 200 plus people to operate, and that's not even counting like just the customer support stuff and like you know all that other shit. I mean, look at the WoW team right now. They're, they're separated between three retails, man. They got like the 10 to 10 people handling season four. They got the entire main team A, or I guess you would call them, I don't know, their team A or like team one, I guess, you know, handling uh, the war within. And then they got a, a, a whole like probably 50 plus people already working on midnight, not even touching war within. And the nutty part is that they could just interchange all those people at any given moment you know war within needs a little bit more polish yeah i gotta go kill people off midnight help out temporarily go back to midnight you know it seems like they have a really they got a really good vibe going right now blizzard with all their content and the people that they have for all their shit you know they got a good vibe they got a good flow something's always coming out something's always launching Seems like they've gotten their scheduling stuff all situated post COVID, which is good. Oh, the MMO MMOs cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make. I would say 200 million minimum to make a, a quality, solid MMORPG. You, you think about it, the MMO in the history of gaming, the most expensive MMO to make was actually Star Wars Joe Republic because of all the voice acting and cutscenes that they did for, for the story of Star Wars. I believe it was $400 million to make Star Wars Joe Republic. And most of that was, like I said, it was like the story. It wasn't even like the you know development of the, the raid content and shit. Might as well not even accept the elite quest at this point either. I mean, New New World, I think, was another pretty expensive MMO. Greetings. Especially when you're working with custom engines. Like, WoW's had the same evolving engine for 20 years, and it's aged better than any other game. And, you know, I don't know. I, I can't see them launching a, an old, like a, a new engine ever. I know in the past, like, they've had some project names for some engines, but they ended up being engines for, like, what, what, what would eventually become, like, Overwatch and uh, a few other things.
engine is WoW on? Uh, don't know. I don't know what the name of it is. It's just their own engine. It, you know, it, it's an in-house built engine from scratch. They don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm, does anyone even know the name of it? <laughs> I don't know. Has, it, has, that, has that been ever asked in an interview? Maybe maybe in the future, if I ever get to interview anyone at Blizzard again, I'll just I'll just I'll just randomly ask that question. Like, hey, so what's the name of our engine? This is the Warcraft Three engine. Yeah, but what's it called? It has to have a name. All engine, all custom engines have a name. Hero engine, fucking flux, uh, frostbite, whatever. You know, they're using five. They are not using Unreal Five, bro. Stop it. It's just known as the Blizzard engine or World of Warcraft engine. Hmm. Well, not my fucking wand right now. Call it the Metzen engine. The Cosby engine. Nah, that, that, that's too dark, bro. You just call it the sweater engine at that point. You got to be PC about it, you know? Yeah, man, I've seen WoW look pretty fucking good, even on like, even on some like old ass video cards. But I, I, I don't know. I, I think if there was a new engine to WoW, it wouldn't even really change the way our characters look. I think it would just change like certain things that they couldn't do before that they could do now <laughs> with an engine. Like every time there's an issue with WoW, it's always like a technical thing, you know? Oh, we're not able to do this because of, you know, that, you know, because we're, we're, it's a tech issue. Stylistically, I don't want the game to change. Me neither. Like the fact that people think that one day WoW will have real life looking characters is bananas. That's never going to happen. The reason, the reason WoW has survived as long as it has is because this art style can, is future proof. Like, you know, rest in peace, Wildstar. Wildstar, it was another game where their art is future proof. Games that have realistic looking characters, those have to be constantly updated. And it's a pain in the ass from what I hear to update. I mean, look how long it took just Final Fantasy to get to get one big graphical update going, right? Like, like their engine isn't isn't too friendly, but it could be updated with a lot of work and through time. Yeah, ESO took about eight years. Like the the you, you think about it, the the Blizzard engine is the only MMORPG engine that gets updated every expansion. Literally, there's some update to the engine. There's some graphical, you know, uh, changes. Like they actually Blizzard actually you know updates their game along with every like Nvidia update there is out there. Like when Rift first came out, I was like, holy shit, these characters look awesome. They look insane. And you look at Rift now and you're like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, yeah. I think Guild Wars 2 is like in between. Like Guild Wars 2 has kind of like a really, really good art. 
and it, it seems future proof, but there's like some expansions that came out where I was like, ah, this is not aging well. But then they, you know, I think they went, I think they upgraded like from 32 bit to 64 bit a few years back and a bunch of other big changes, and that kind of helped out a lot. The new character models in WAD really revitalize the game and they still look pretty decent. Hell yeah, they do. I don't understand who was mad about that shit. Like I said, that that that's some rose tinted classic Pierce bullshit, you know, talking right there. Fucking 14 years into WoW and you still want WoW to look like all fucking crazy pixelated like it did before. I mean, once once WoW started changing the models of the all the races, the world. Uh, once they started, um, you know, just updating everything. The, remember, uh, which expansion was it where they started updating just like the character animations of abilities too? Remember, they, I think that was MOP, right? Where they where they started introducing all like the new character animations. You know, changing changing like the fluidity of the game to be more Hi, modern. Goddess, watch over you. Good luck, friend. Farewell. Be careful. Good luck. Friend. Del Nadris. Was it was it oh it was it was it was, it was way further out? Okay. Be careful. Thought it was MOP. I thought, I thought MOP is where the warriors Del started. Nadris. Goddess watch over you. Good luck, friend. We got everything, baby. We got everything, baby. Eddie Tang, Eddie Tang. We got Eddie Tang. No oh, shit. Okay. Apparently not everything. Nope. Don't want that. We don't want that either. Shit, man. We don't want like, apparently most of this shit. Unfortunate. Give me all the things. Give me all the things. I, th I thought the Final Fantasy model revamp already happened. I was going to get honored with these guys. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I am currently. Oh, I'm already honored. <laughs> I didn't even know. Did they increase the turn in rep or something? Let me see. For a for Asherville? It's like, oh, there we go. He needed that one. I needed that one too. All right, cool. Share it up. Share it up, baby. So does that mean that once I hit uh, max level, I'll have um, a full a full set of nightmare gear to put on to replace all this shit gear? Pretty much. Minus my helm. Nice. Nice. Now I'm starting, to, I'm starting to wonder like how big of a showing China is going to have in the race of world first next year. I know Skyline broke up, but I'm assuming all those players are going to make their own 
you know, secondary power guild or something. Global release, baby. One day. One day global release. I want to see China fucking cook. See the true sweatiness. I'm not sure how packed Feralis and Hinterlands are nowadays. I know I went in there before the changes and there was like nobody. I was like, there's we were there soloing shit, or at least trying to. It was pretty fucking bad. 1K pulls in 24 hours. Yeah, about every four or five expansions, it seems like China gets a world first in, you know? Every now and then. Will it require a dragon event? Uh, 20, well, it depends. There's four, four different portals. But ideally between level 25 and 40. So this is like the 40 zone. Duskwood is the 25. <laughs> and then Frawless and Hinterlands are the 50. Fucking spooters. Yep, I mean, if you're patient enough and you have some good shows to watch on Netflix or a good movie on Amazon Prime or something somewhere, you'll, uh, this is pretty easy. Hello. Like, like I said, they made all these changes, but ideally nothing's really changed. People are still just leveling the fastest in WoW by just going from level, uh, you know, just, just by doing the, the pickup quests and waiting around quests and that's it. I feel like nothing really changed at all in that aspect. Well, all series comes out today, uh, like like it came out already, or it comes out like tonight at nine o'clock. You mean into tomorrow? Six p.m. All right, cool. Yo, Ambio, did, did, were you did you pull those Wembies yesterday, or was that just pulled on that stream? No, not me. I wish. <laughs> Dude, I opened up a box of Leaf Vivid. I posted it on Twitter. I, I did a little afternoon rips for my own. And uh, ended up getting fucking a one of one printing plate and an out of four Ellie auto. I'm, I'm on a one of one roll still, bro. I think we're up to like. Like nine one of ones in the last like 12 weeks. I did two incursions and decided they weren't for me. Even if fast or too boring or repetitive. Yeah. What you? Sometimes players like me, we don't think about that. This is just a means to an end, right? Like we do this just to get to 50. Because if I'm doing dungeons, I'm still doing something that I would have done before and I've done a million times in the past. Yeah. That's how I see it. And questing with time traveling is just too time consuming, so... You know, in a new expansion like the War Within, right? I'll you know I'm I'm doing every single quest because everything's you know brand new. But there's nothing really new and classic anymore that's gonna make me not want to find the fastest route to hit max level. Yeah, I think that Ellie Auto could could fetch about maybe two fifty, two hundred something like that. It, it, it'll pay for the box. The box itself was was 199, and the printing plate uh, player is actually a pretty good Mariners prospect. Not Mez, do not Mez with the not Mez. Thank you for the raid, bro. Appreciate it. 
Everyone hammers up for this PvP legend who just raided us with his gracious peoples. China number one. Mezpog. Mezpog. Leaf in the clutch. Leaf is, Leaf is such an underrated fucking company, man. I'm so mad about that shit. You have a hammers up? All right. Let me eat my breakfast and I'll stand up. I don't like I don't like standing while I'm eating. It'll get redeemed. I mean, like I said, I, I could definitely see how incursions are boring. For me, you guys are like my Netflix and my Amazon Prime and my Paramount and my HBO Go or whatever. You know, like I could do this all day because I could just read chat. This, this is the most like streamer friendly kind of content there fucking is, you know, in my opinion. You just you sit there and just go back and forth clicking on shit while you're just talking to your viewers. Darth Rex, thank you for the 44 months. Appreciate it. Top certainly should be going way down in price since the Ellie one of one was pulled. Let's hope. I'm not going to buy that shit regardless. What is it, like 1100 a box? It's going to go down to like maybe eight. Yeah, I'm kind of done buying like the bigger boxes of stuff. It's just the value is just not there. It's just not like you have like a one in a probably, you know, 100 case chance of pulling a card that'll pay for your case like of a flawless. But I'll, I'm definitely buying NT next year. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be buying 2024 baseball NT case. I love NT. I feel like I've gotten way more value out of NT than flawless. I'm saying, what are we all waiting here for? I saw the box Yankees legends and it was uh, the new rookie. What do you mean? Ambia. What, 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 what new box? You mean the leaf one that I opened? Oh, you get topics. Okay. Yeah, I, as you can see on my eBay, I took down my Arthas card because I sent it to get graded yesterday. Hope, hoping to get minimum a nine. Best case scenario, obviously a ten. If I get a ten, bro, that card is. <laughs> I'm not. I don't even think I'll put it up on eBay because the, the price that I would put for it. I'm not. Oh, I went through the same thing again. God damn it. Oh, come on. I've been in Cali for 14 years. Yeah, I actually express sent that Arthas to get graded. It should be it should literally be back like probably next Tuesday, Wednesday. I paid like 200 bucks to have it express graded. How much does it take for a card to get graded? Dep depends on the card itself and how much it's worth. I mean, you think about it, the the Wemby one of one cost a dude, what, like four grand to get graded, if I'm not mistaken? Some crazy shit like that? But worth it. I mean, four grand to get a card graded to get a million out of it, I think is pretty damn good. Yeah, the, the the more you pay for a card to get graded, the the faster it'll come back to you. Like right now, I have over like fifty cards being graded, but you know, those are all like ten buck a pop cards grading. You know, like the, the, those take anywhere from like what two to three months to come back. Farewell. Good luck. Friend. God is watch over you. Dang, forty nine. One more to go, boys. One more to go. God is watch over you. Casual ass leveling. Oh shit, now I'm only getting twenty seven per oof. 
Oof! As they say, oofies. These are, yeah, sure. Just give it to me already. I'm just done. I already have it. All right. Make sure I'm not sharing the ones that nobody wants, and we share. Sharing is caring. Sad that we don't kill the elites and there's not enough people right now killing elites. That's, I mean, that's going to happen in Sod. Eventually, there's going to be like a stale part. And I say in about three, three, four more weeks, unless they increase the experience back, I don't see many people coming back here to, to, to level here. People will just stop leveling and then they'll just increase the EXP like they did in phase two when people stop playing and started logging off. The breaker wouldn't send the chat, so the guy that got it needs to fly to Vegas, then drive the PSA in Cali for the upgrade. What the fuck? Wait, why wouldn't he send it? Just scared that it would get lost? I mean, isn't that Wemby too valuable for the fucking mail, too? Hey, Rob, what's up, Dutchie? Yeah, that, that's why I'm lucky, Ambio, because, like, you know, since our uh, our card shop is an authorized PSA dealer, like, the owner of the card shop literally just drives 30 minutes to PSA every Thursday and picks up everyone's graded cards. I think today he's dropping off my Arthas personally at PSA to get graded express. Wrath Cata Prep is the way now. I don't know. I mean, you don't really need Cata Prep, right? I don't know. I'm like 5,200 gear score on my Paladin, and I think for me, that's like enough. I feel like I don't need to do anything else besides that, really. Oh yeah, like in, in the beta, like I copied my character on the on the on the classic beta for Kata, and yeah, the, just just the first series of quests in Hyjal replaced all of my fifty two hundred gear. It might not replace replace pure ICC gear, but it'll come close though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You actually replace Shadowborn pretty fucking early. Yeah, I would say the only prep that's needed is probably gold prep, you know? Maybe have enough gold to be able to, you know, buy shit. MOP next year? Uh, should be. Based on their timeline, it feels like MOP should be launching literally at this time next year. I think that's what they want to do. They want to do it like, you know, you know, once a year, once a year for big classic expansions and, you know, uh, you know, al almost two years for every WoW expansion. Yeah, and MOP, uh, what I really want to do is challenge modes. I never did challenge modes in, in uh, MOP, and I regret it because of tr cause I wasn't a big, like, transmog collector back then. I didn't really start collecting transmogs till like, probably beginning of Draenor. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I regret not doing challenge modes in MOP. So I'll, I'm definitely going to hit that up. 
I missed the dailies. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't think anyone misses those initial. Dude, even me, I was streaming like 17 hours a day back then. And I was like, bro, these dailies fucking suck. Well, well we're going to be getting the nerfed versions of the dailies anyway, right? Every classic we get is always the fixed version of a classic. I don't have intelligence. What am I doing? <laughs> you unlocked enough rep. You unlock more dailies. It was good gold. You know, it was decent gold. Look, man, I'm just I'm just holding out for Dranor Classic. Okay. So I can see them re-add all the content they took out, and then it'll be like a whole brand new expansion. The PvP was good at WAD, though. Yeah, it's a shame PvP is just not a big thing anymore with retail players, so I'm not really expecting much out of it in the classic sense. We can get new content in WAD. We could. We definitely could. I feel like I feel like every time we do a classic and we and we reminisce about past expansions, every expansion we, we reminisce about the PvP was always good. Right? I, I don't know. People. <laughs> Oh man, I miss Cata PvP. I miss WoW, MOP PvP. I miss Legion PvP. To be fair, Legion towers were kind of cool. Oh, dude, se selfie cam patch is gonna be goaded as fuck, dude. I cannot wait. All that's left is what? MOP, Wad, and Legion? Well, I mean, at that point, we'll be in like almost a, uh, probably halfway through midnight. So, I mean, they could also start doing BFA. <laughs> I think that I think all the versions of Classic will stop once the World Soul Saga stops. Because it feels like they're just going to not make a whole new WoW, but I feel like the entire direction of the game is going to change in like eight years or excuse me, like in four to five years. Put some respect on BFA classic. Oh, bro. I'm actually terrified for BFA classic. I'm scared of it, bro, because I don't think I have enough time to do retail and BFA classic that that would be. I mean, BFA is my most played expansion of all fucking time. There's no way. There's just no way. Del Madras. Good luck, friend. Farewell. Goddess, watch over you. Del Madras. Good luck, friend. But I, I guess because it would be like the last patch version of BFA, most of the most of the, the grind content should be probably more streamlined, I would assume. Canada is already just worse retail. Can't wait for more version, worse versions of retail. I know, right? And we're going to eat it up. And we're going to eat it up. Because we cannot get enough of World of Warcraft. See, the discovery is fun. Yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. You know, 
a after they fixed everything in the first five days. You know? It's fun then. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Waiting on these yahoos to get here. Oh, wait. Did I not go to the portal? God damn it. What if they made retail so epic no one wanted to play classic? Because classic players don't like retail no matter what they would do to retail and vice versa. That's why there's a, that's why it's diverse and you can pick either one. I mean, I think retail is already epic, but what the fuck? You can't force a classic mentality of a player, you know, to uh, to retail. That's just impossible to do. But versions like Sod and Cata Classic are the reason why retail players are playing Classic. Because Blizzard knows that retail players just love content. And, th and that there's gear to be had and quests to be turned in and titles to be earned and challenge modes to be completed. Retail players will eat that shit up. Slowly but surely, Blizzard's going to have retail players just playing two versions of retail. It's almost like, you know, every every version of WoW that's coming out, especially, the, the you know, some of the expansions we've had bad relationships with, like, let's say, Draenor, is almost like a second chance for Blizzard to make it right and do it right better than the first time. You know? Just watched your VOD. When is the next Marvel rips? Uh, there is no more. That was it. I bought a case and that's as far as I went. Now we just move on to the next stuff. Yeah, Marvel's not like Blizzard Legacy where I'm going to be opening that shit up every week, you know? Yeah, I think 10 boxes total was uh, more than enough. It is a great product. Hard to get your, your 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 money back on that. I'm having way too many low ball offers on some pretty good cards. But you know, cards like Marvel, I just kind of leave it there on eBay. Eventually someone will buy it. <laughs> I do miss Saturday and Sunday afternoons getting 40 people together and raiding. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I I I don't. I'm good. I'm good. Do you have any Pokemon cards? I don't collect TCG. I collect sports cards. Oh, that's what I've been doing, Ambi. I've been putting up every seven to nine, seven ninety nine, three ninety nine, two ninety nine, one ninety nine, ninety nine. I've been putting all of them up on eBay, bro. I said it yesterday. I was like, you know, when I have a big card from Marvel that's out of five, I don't lower the price of it because there's only five in the world. I have no reason to lower it. Yeah, someone tried to offer me like. 300 bucks or 250 for my Colossus out of five. I'm like, no. Don't want to do that. <laughs> That's not happening. Can I assist you? Just like somebody right now is trying to lowball me on, on, on my fucking Jimmy Johnson color blast. Some dude keeps offering me 140, 140, 156, 157, 158, and I keep countering. Nope. 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 One guy tried to message me and say, "Why well, take the offer? It's not going to sell. I'm like, it's going to sell. The last three sales were 200, 225, and 210. What do you mean it's not going to sell? I'm like, look, bro. I ain't in a rush. This ain't a fucking flea market. Fuck off.
Classic raids are brutal because 25% of your raid are boomers who need AFK constantly to smoke. Or get a beer. Or they have extreme bladder issues at that age. Brother on eBay, so not sure the process. The card I bought got shipped to Sarasota. Did they send it? Did they send it me from there? Sarasota. What card did you buy? Oh, it went to the authentication center. Yeah, whenever a card is is, is a, one of uh, is a, is expensive, like over two hundred bucks or something like that, it gets sent to the authentication center in Sarasota, Florida. So it goes to them. They authenticate it to make sure that it is an actual Brock Purdy one of one. Then they ship it to your house. Yeah, it, it's to, yeah, it's to protect you as a buyer from a large purchase. So, for instance, like let's say someone right now went onto my eBay and purchased, um, I don't know, the fucking the uh, BFA Anduin Sylvanas portrait transmog card, right? That card's up for a thousand bucks. Let's say I sold it to you for four hundred. That would get sent to the authenticator, and then they would authenticate that yes, this is in fact actually the real card itself. And it, and you know, eBay says you are you know. Your purchase was a good one. The yeah, authentication center is in Florida, and the International Boulevard, I believe, is also in Florida. I'd have to check. Yeah, but today I'm putting up uh, about 40 cards that are growing up today. And that'll be this week's cards. They're going up a little late because I don't like I don't like putting up cards when there's still people pending for payment. But yeah, every good pull you saw last week will end up on the uh, eBay listing today, minus any Yankees, Colts, Mavericks, and or special PC cards for me. Excuse me. And at some point next week, I got to put up the rest of my last Blizzard Legacy cards. So I still got like, I think over like 50 Spectrals I'm going to be putting up. Should be interesting. Yeah, eBay feeds fucking suck. Agreed. Fucking agreed, bro. But I like it. It's part of my hobby process. I, I love researching and doing all that posting stuff. It's fun. Try to do no more after you hit 50. Um, not really, but we could. Do a no more when I hit 50. I mean, I'm sure I could probably use some more gear from there, like a weapon or something. Apparently, your fees go down if, as a seller if you've sold enough. Because I got a message saying that I'm now like a premier top rated top seller partner. And a lot of my fee stuff percentage went down. Not by a lot, but it did go down. Hey, everyone. What's up? Here is Sana. But yeah, the plan, uh, the plan is to do a, a nice little marathon for Cata launch. It'll go from the uh, the twentieth until the twenty sixth, so it'll be about a six day marathon actually for Cataclysm. It'll start well. It'll probably start Monday at three p.m. because that's usually when they launch the expansions the day before. So so it's globally launched everywhere, uh, all the way to Saturday. Because then on Sunday I'm going to the Yankees and Padres game in San Diego. So a half a thon. No, that's a full marathon. Anything over a week. Is basically a marathon. I am honored. Farewell. 
Min mini thons are like what I did for Fair Destiny enough. 2 when I played for 72 you. hours. Good luck, friend. Be careful. God is watch over you. Be careful. Ooh, the leveling is super low now. But the gold keeps on coming now, which is nice. I'm just glad I'm top rated. I wish more people would leave feedback, though. People, yeah, if you buy from me, please leave me feedback. Positive, if 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 you had a positive experience. <laughs> yeah, I think in the past, like, week and a half, I've only gotten, like, four reviews or four feedback. I kind of wish feedback was mandatory, but it's not. You know, I do like how eBay reminds you over and over again, you know. We, we, we need some of those, like, 10-paragraph solace feedback ones. Those are my favorite. I guess we have all those. I personally don't want to share any of that shit, so I'm trying to get it out of my, my stuff. I don't want to be that guy that shares the 10s, 11s, and 12s, and 1s, and 2s. I got a lot of shit to share. Holy shit. Thank you, baby. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. All right. Wait for these this mage and druid to come in hot. Do have to go buy something and leave an essay? I mean, it'd be fun if you did. You know? Yeah, I think before, well, before I start posting today, let's see. Well, I just put in my Ellie today, starting at 99 bucks for the Ellie de la Cruz out of four. That's easily going to sell for like two, 250. But yeah, I put up all the big Marvel cards from last week. Obviously, these prices are a bit high, maybe for some of you guys out there. Like I always say, I, I, I leave this to the collectors. You guys, I don't, I don't, I don't really like it when my own viewers spend like thousands of dollars on cards because I know how that could start getting. But yeah, um, there's really nothing here that's cheap. Not until today. Not until today. But if anyone is a big collector, I do have some pretty big ticket cards in here. Oh, I got a couple of patch notes for like 34, 35 bucks. That's a steal. All my patch notes are like 80% off. Building one collector every day, man. Building one collector every day. It's fun to collect. It's fun to collect within reason. You know, no one should ever go broke from collecting fucking cards. That's a bad, that's a bad look. It's a bad fucking look. You don't want that shit. I'll trade you a Mickey Mantle. Okay. Done deal. What do you want from me? What are we talking? 1952 PSA 10? I'll give you 350. Final offer. Oh, right left. How many sweet DJs? Uh, DJs? Derek Jeter's? Oh, yeah, I have tons. I have over 40, 50 good ones. I mean, the one I just pulled on the stream 
three weeks ago, the Jeter Volpe Auto. That's probably like the best card I've pulled on Rips. Besides, well, next to the Mark Hamill. Mark. But I, I did a hundred percent secure a full case of Finest yesterday for Star Wars, a full case of Chrome Black from Star Wars, and I purchased uh, three boxes of high tech from the card shop yesterday. So we are we are on our way to some we we, we already have we, we already have about 24 boxes of star wars to open and and i'm not even done yet bro i'm not even done yet not even fucking done we, we've never opened up more than 17 boxes on our rips we already have 23 better than the babe ruth number to five yeah I mean, don't get me wrong. The Babe Ruth card was really good, but I mean, it's still not an autograph, dude. I saw. I got. I'm trying to find this buyer. If anyone knows anyone at Layton, help me out. Someone yesterday uh, on a Layton break got a Transcendence one of one Elvis Presley autograph, and I want that fucking card. I want that fucking card. Is your opinion, in your opinion, PvP required to play Throne of Liberty? I, I believe so, yes. To do certain quests and kill certain bosses and world bosses and shit, you kind of do have to. At least I, it seems that way, you know? I am listening. No, it's that. I mean, well, the autograph of Elvis Presley is from back in the day, but they just slap it on the style of their current card. Mm. Oh, yeah. Rip on, on May the 4th, Rips is probably starting at noon. I will probably, I mean, and then it'll go as long as it takes. <laughs> yeah, I only, I only want to. Um, I'm either gonna buy a full case of Star Wars Galaxy or a full case of Masterworks. Like I said, depends on how much how, on how much money I make on eBay in the next three weeks. We're doing pretty good so far. I think I need about maybe two more weeks of good sales to buy the Masterworks case, and then that's thirty boxes of Star Wars. Oh, is he not? Oh, he's not here. He's he not here. Oh, he's oh, he's there. He's being fucking kited. I'm like, where's the fucking boss, bro? People tagging and running with this fucking fool. I wish there was like an NPC we could take it to. To die. Oh my god, are they kiting it into the hallway? This is gonna be fucking a bad idea. This is a bad fucking idea, bro. Up, oh, it's a up. Oh, oh god. We're gonna die. We're so gonna die, dude. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty pretty light on the wow front until probably next week, more than likely. Just some SOD. Hello. Then I mean, we got Sunken Temple raid Monday night. I'm surprised there wasn't any more Sunken Temple nerfs yesterday. Oh, shit. People, people are still complaining about the damage in that raid. Mostly pugs at this point now, though, really. I think the pugs are the ones that are complaining the most or people trying to put together pugs because, you know, pugs are coming together. They're killing like one or two bosses. I mean, most pugs I heard are wiping on the hallway boss and then they're disbanding. So now you're locked to a fucking one boss raid for an entire week because it's a one week lockout. So I still think the rating is really bad in SOD as a whole for the average player. I mean, for an organized guild, you're probably having a decent time. You're probably six of eight, five of eight. Whatever it may be, but yeah, I mean, right right now, um, 
I don't think Sunken Temple is very casual friendly at all. I could definitely see there being a, a big fallout from that. Say if I were said nerf wasn't enough. Well, I mean, that was just an HP nerf. HP means nothing when the abilities are still chonking you. I mean, I, I feel like you still need raid caliber healers to heal through a lot of the damage in that raid. And you still need very geared tanks and decently geared DPS. But yeah, uh, you're right. I'm assuming they're waiting for like the latest data. More than likely. Like I said, that's why there should have been that's why there should have been a ten man raid along with a twenty. Just would have made things so much easier for casual players, man. Right now, Blizzard is expecting everyone to get honored with incursions and just take the nightmare lieutenant gear, right? Or whatever the fuck it's called. I mean, we went six of eight, but you know, and we got some pretty damn good players in our guild, and we some, and we still fucking wipe the shit, you know, like. When we did that raid on Monday, I said to myself, "Ain't no way pugs are fucking clearing this shit." Here's my thing. If, if we're kind of complaining right now about 20 ban rating in SOD, what's going to happen when phase four comes out? You know, I don't know. I for, I, for one, do not see 40 man raids happening. I, I seriously don't. I mean, the, obviously, the, the bigger, bigger gills will have 40, but bro, like... <clears throat> Well, to be fair, every previous classic raid in history has been cleared in less than two hours. So, with the exception of a few. Goddess, watch over you. Del Nadris, how may I help? When, when, when you're used Del to something, you, you know, people like to keep it that way. Be careful. Del Nadris. Like, I would be more positive about, like, Farewell. raids taking longer in, uh, in classic if even the top guilds were all about it. But even they didn't seem like they were with it. People ask them in their chats every every day, did you like raiding three, four days to kill one raid? They're like, no, we're speedrunners. We want to kill this shit in like one or two hours and then compete against each other on orange parses all day. You can't LOS more faz anymore? Much harder. I, I never saw the hotfix for that. People keep saying it, but we did it. When did it get hotfixed? Wasn't Monday. Oh, was it yesterday? Oh, well. Unforch. Unfortunate. Well, how much harder is it now that you have to do it, though, I guess is my question. Is it, like, super fucking hard? I mean, I don't mind the challenge of raids. Like, you know, I, I, when I have my conversations about this shit, I think about the community as a whole. I don't really talk about me. 
in the, in the words of the soon to be missing and jailed up P Diddy, you know, Sergio going to be okay. It's really up to who gets the fires to wake people up. It's not much harder. It's nice though to see in the recruitment areas of WoW guilds combining their forces to do the to do the raid. You know. I'm assuming that has to be a stat or data they're going to look at within the next two months, right? Like, out of all the Sunken Temple runs that, that, you know, happened, how many were full guild runs and how many were two guilds combining forces to make a raid, you know? With the merger on Tuesday, went from f missing five people for a 20 man to having three groups and extra on the bench. Yeah. You know what spec warrior tanking? What, what spec warrior is tanking right now? No, I don't play warrior. I have no idea. Where's this fucking mage at? Well, at least we got two of the uh, turn-ins. Yeah, I think I, was, I watched Zaryu kill Ranicus yesterday. That was pretty fun. Did he end up getting that two-handed epic stat? Did they give it to him? I know he fucking lost his shit when it dropped. Fool's gold does five gold to stack, three stacks left. We have a classic guild, but we're kind of split up a bit because, you know, obviously all the people that joined in the beginning never made it to where we are now. So it kind of sucks. Even when this guy hits 50 and I want to do a sunken temple raid, we'll probably only have like seven or eight. We're going to have to like purge. Well, I mean, yeah, we purged everyone that was inactive. That's why Hammer Squad is not a hardcore guild. It's just community oriented. People log in, have a good time. Everyone talks in guild chat and that's about it. You know, I, I, I never really advertise this as being sweaty. I myself am sweaty. You know, and I choose to be for, for, you know, for the purpose of, you know, raiding so I can get into groups and shit. But that's about it, though. How much gold are you getting per quest now? Uh, depends how many quests I turn in. I can get anywhere between 7 to 12 gold per turn in. I mean, I've gotten about... Wow. I've gotten about 211 gold so far. And I'm almost 50. I figure I'll, I'll, I'll have made 300 gold. By the time I'm done hitting uh, max level. Which is not bad. I mean, obviously, 900 would have been better. But, you know, 300 gold is still a lot of fucking gold. Well, it's 44 silver, 300%. So it's like about a buck 50. At least I think so. I don't know. I'm bad at mathematics. I just, I just saw that movie with um, 
man, Ryan Gosling. He's uh, it's, it's the movie with like the stock market stuff. Steve Carell is in it, and like Christian Bale. It's a really good fucking movie. Christian Bale with the weird eye. Big Short. Yeah, I just saw Big Short yesterday while I was just chilling and playing some MLB the show. What 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 what, what, a, what a great movie that was. Yes, experience is dark to Nashville, but it's still the best EXP per hour. You got the miners yet? Oh, I haven't tried out. I, I was playing um, Diamond Dynasty yesterday. I was finishing up the uh, Easter egg hunt stuff and the uh, the conquest for Easter. I like to finish all the programs. I I, I think I'm five points away from finishing the spring training or the spring lookout one with the rookies and shit. Jackson Holiday just got called up to the majors last night. That's going to be fun. Literally every Jackson Holiday card just went up by about 300% overnight. It's actually fucking crazy. It's fucking nuts, dude. I have a couple of Jackson Holiday autos I'm holding on to for a couple of days until uh, we see how he does in his first few games. Wait, is he DHing? Because Gunnar Henderson's a shortstop. Well, they said Jackson wouldn't even play shortstop. He's not really built for it. Is, is he going to second? Oh, he's playing second base. Nice. I wonder if he's leading off. I don't think any rookie in the last like decade had a better first game than Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. Jason Dominguez first ever at bat to the plate against Justin Verlander. First pitch he's ever taken in his career. Fucking home run over the porch. That's probably the best rookie start I've seen. Hello. You, you could end up being a bust, but you could say my first pitch ever in the major leagues was a fucking was a pitch by Justin Verlander that I took fucking yard. I'm just trying. Wait, is that? Oh, I don't have this quest. What am I doing? Fuck my life. Bugma. Bugma. Was it felt awesome? Yeah, especially against an Astro. Sure. Alva today, Rob. Negativo. I wouldn't be this calm if there was a fucking alpha today, okay? I, w I wouldn't be this calm. Yeah, my, my hype levels would be way, way higher. Are, are we still missing some hero talents? Uh, probably, but I don't think we're going to see them until alpha and beta. I mean, don't forget, like I've always said, for, first um, first version of the beta will not have all the hero talents. I, I mean, unless they're really, really far ahead. You know? Like, if, if, they're, if they're far ahead in um, in, like, production... And let's say they launch the alpha, and in the alpha we have, like, that many more. I don't know, man. May may maybe. Maybe. It's possible. Are you trying all the classes? For the hero talents? Yeah, I'll probably try all of them. A lot of them don't really seem that interesting, though, to be fair. That's just me, though. Bro. 
right, I'm, I'm gonna make a post on our private Discord about this fucking Shredder and be like, yo, can you please nerf the fucking Shredder and the other elite bosses? Like, people, there's just not as many people doing this shit anymore. And it's like, these guys hit harder than Sunken Temple bosses, bro. Look at, look at your combat log. It's actually ridiculous. Gotta use the status uh, to get shit done, you know what I'm saying? Did he fucking reset? Whatever. I don't know. We can let these fuckers have it. I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go complete the other three. But I said the goal is for Alpha to launch with all hero talents. We'll see. I mean, we haven't even gotten the other ones yet, so I, I mean, I doubt it. I, I think first day of Alpha is going to be probably one leveling zone, or it doesn't have to be a leveling zone. It could be like any of the any of the four zones, really. I mean, don't forget we started in the Azure Span in uh, DF Alpha. And then probably maybe like X amount of classes with their hero talents. Top's Heritage came out today. Yeah, I know. Uh, we opened up like a couple of boxes at the card shop. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good product. It's cheap, super cheap. You, you know, you, you're not buying that shit to make some money. That's for damn sure. It's like ninety bucks a box. Not not, not my kind of jam. I like value. I'll probably end up buying some Jason Dominguez rookies off, you know, on eBay. That's about it. Well, targeted testing is 100% what they're going to do. That's just that that's 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 going to be their MO for everything they do in the future is target testing. It's it's cleaner, it's more polished, it's more organized and it just gives us a better idea of like what's, you know, what we're going to get out of each zone. Each dungeon that launches. You didn't use sub specs will eventually replace the current specs? No, hell no. Because then you'd have to like rework the entire talent tree to supplement all the new, you know, hero talent specs. I think going forward, they're going to keep the hero talents in the talent tree, right? And we're just going to have that name to ourselves, like Forge Master or Light Forge or whatever it's fucking called, right? Like, that's just going to happen natty, I think. What's up, Nikki? She already bugging out. Did, did, did you put did you put her foam on her? Which class role is the most demanding SOD mage? Mage, Hunter, Druid. Priest. But uh, odds are you'll probably get invited more to do a Sunken Temple pug if you were a Mage, Hunter, Priest, or Druid. Well, Feral Druid, to be fair. But I think Boomkins also give a buff too, right? That's why I'm a mage right now. Yeah. I mean, it's the way to go. If you want to spot, you know. Well, I mean, I guess I'm talking from the Alliance side because I don't play Horde. But yeah, I'm assuming shamans are pretty good. I don't know. I heard their lightning shield was broken, but then I heard they fixed it too, so. I heard, I heard it's very popular in PvP. I heard if you're a shaman in PvP, you'll get like 100 silver tokens per STV. <laughs> Ishnu Allah. Goddess, watch over you. Del Nadris. Farewell. Good luck, friend. Be careful. Goddess, watch over you. 
I hope they I hope they really changed the crafting quest from not having to have ST as part of it. It seems kind of seems kind of cringe if like you're not a ra a rating player and you want to and you want to craft some gear. You still have to go into the raid to do it. And now not only do you have to go into the raid, you have to go into the raid and you have to clear to what six bosses in, which is crazier. I mean, at this point, you're probably just, you know, buying fucking lockouts from players just to get in there to complete the quest. I'm compiling a list of stuff to bitch about on our private Discord to the community, so don't worry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out here fighting for you guys every day for every issue this game has, okay? Just so you know. I think in our Discord, I might be the most active person complaining about shit on the feedback they're they're even fucking surprised. They're like, why is Tally the one giving all the feedback? Where are the other classic players? I'm like, they're being too fucking sweaty. I'm a man of the fucking people. Here to make sure shit gets done. By the way, the Matrix is on Netflix. For any Matrix fans out there like myself, I don't know. I watched it yesterday. I could watch The Matrix a thousand fucking times. Top 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 three movie of all time for me, so. The new one was horrible. Ah, wasn't that bad. I'm gonna go buy I'll go to the bathroom real quick. in it. I watched Split and Glass. Oh, good movies. Alright. Oh, did these guys leave already? I'm over here like, yo, I'm going to the bathroom, boys. Like, no, no bathroom breaks for us, sweaty asses. Alright, alright, alright. I get it. I get it. Don't want to wait for the big guy, the, the, old, the old man bladder to fucking pee. That's cool, too. They're working on a fifth. Why not, bro? There'll probably be like 10 million John, different John Wick movies. Heard the, uh, the uh, Jon Snow Game of Thrones got canceled. Undocumented large health nerfs. Get out of here. Les, look, I'm fucking trolling over here, bro. L large health nerfs to what? I'm not trolling. You, you gotta be trolling. What, like Sunken Temple? Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. There's no fucking way. Check a log. Well, li link the log in chat. I want to see. Can I assist you? Look, Les, I'm in the middle of some riveting gameplay of turning shit in, okay? 
as possible more uh, ner- well I mean I, I well I did say last night or did, I, well, I just said an hour ago that I'm surprised last night there wasn't more nerfs to ST trying to get me time down in chat that's bait you're a sub aren't you I thought someone gifted you a sub a while ago Shit. I'm gonna get fucking destroyed right now. Alright, now you can kill me. This is such a shit show, this place in here, man. Holy fuck. Wait, all you're saying all bosses got a stealth health nerf or just like certain ones? Yeah, DM me on Discord. I want to see. I have zero durability. First boss alone got thirty percent. So you tell me all you tell me all these bosses are under a million health right now. I think 30% would be under a million. left group is gonna leave group and fucking do all this shit then find a, a group to finish off with where, uh, where where do you see the boss's health besides the replay well you can see in the replay right Oh, wow. Hold on. What the fuck? How much health do they have? Six hundred ninety two thousand health. Wow. He, how much was he? Wasn't he at like one point four million or one point one million on, on Monday when we raided? See the other log. Uh, which boss is this? Oh, same one. Oh, same one, but he was at 990,000. Oh. Oh, yeah. Check damage. Yeah. So 693,000 versus. 990k. Oh wow. What about what about the other bosses? Is it the same shit for everyone else? That is 30% though. Yeah, it, it it's like I said yesterday, man. And like I said, I'm I'm not someone I, I don't like shitting on people. I don't like shitting on Blizzard more than anything. But I mean you you, you have to kind of call out the fact that look, man. You know, in retail, we're, we're we're used to nerfs and buffs happening between like the five to ten percent, right? Three to five, sometimes four, seven, six. Classic team was literally eighty percent off, eighty percent off, right? Like we said it yesterday. How crazy is that when you put your when, when you think about it? You you're you were eighty percent off on tuning. That's never happened in the history of fucking WoW. Like, I am ever. That's never, ever, ever happened in WoW history. That, that, that a team is 80% off on the tuning of a raid. It's, it's, like, it's like they hired the Diablo math person who made that fucking video that one time. You know? It's like so, something's wrong.
in, in the words of the great Sar Saramar, something's quite not something's not quite right. Well, ain't nobody killing this shit. Let's go turn in. Well, I mean, in, in previous raids, like Nomer, they didn't really nerf HP by a lot, right? They nerfed mostly like abilities, how many, you know, uh, you know, spell penetration, like on like Kelris or whatever. You know, that's what nerfed those bosses. Like these bosses of Sunken Temple have been nerfed by 80%, man. So now I guess the first two bosses. confirmed so I, I guess everything got a 30 percent nerf is, is there any aranicus kills we could check maybe aranicus got nerfed again too oh yeah the armor yeah i forgot about the armor And then the rest of the health changes. All right, so it looks like second boss got a one one point three million to nine hundred k, which is the slime boss. Council is one point uh, is one point eight to one point five. Dream Scythe and Weaver one point eight to one point two. Jamalin and Ogam two point three to two. Morphaz went from three point one to two point two. And then the last two, I think, are left untouched. So basically, Blizzard's saying they want everyone at six of eight, even in pugs. That's crazy, man. Huh? Right, it's like a stairmaster. Not quite LFR, but definitely easier for pugs. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's not even done yet. I don't even think they're done. I I, I still think they're gonna nerf like a, like like boss abilities, damage and shit. Like I I could see the Dream Weaver, like the Weaver Nightmare Scythe guy, or whatever. I could see his dot being fucking gutted as well. Probably the knockback damage from the first boss too, and some other shit. Les, did you t did you check the damage done by the abilities in those fights? I'm anxious to see if they nerfed any abilities too. Just like the main ones, like the knockback, the dots, like the dragon breath dots too. Yeah, I, I would assume those, th those I feel like should have been part of the nerfs as well. Because I, I, I watched a couple of um, streams do some pugs and that seemed to be the pain point was, you know, a lot of the dot damage. 1100 guilds are now 8 of 8 ST. Oh, of course. It's just like when Halundris got giga nerfed that one time. It went from like 7 guilds in the world killing Halundris to like 500. Well, there wasn't 500. That was, that's, a, that's a bit too much. But yeah.
Come on, man. Where's Duran? Give me Duran right now. Twitch is blocked to my work, but now I go watch you on YouTube. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, sorry. The last two days I didn't fire up the YouTube. I just, I just fucking forgot. <laughs> I forgot to to start my YouTube stream. It's not hard to do. It's just a button that goes start, and it just starts streaming to YouTube. Although I, I've already had three of my YouTube live streams demonetized because of like one fucking song. That's what I hate about YouTube, bro. Like, I, like I don't get demonetized on Twitch for playing music. You could get a DMCA strike or a warning, but you don't get demonetized. Uh, acid breath dot looks the same. Okay, then they didn't do shit for the damage of stuff then. Then they didn't do much. Season of Discovery DPS rankings. Ooh, this ought to be good. What do we got? Bo boss damage. Hunter, Rogue, Shaman, Warrior, Hunter, Druid, Lock, Fire, Mage. How is, fire How is Mage so low on that list, though? Feels, feels like they're, like, super low. Let's see. Looks like the top two damage tanks are Warlock and Paladin. That seems about right. Wow, so a Warlock tank and a Paladin tank are doing more damage than a Frost Mage and Arcane Mage. And almost doing... Not almost. They're, they're pretty far behind DPS, Priest, and Balance Druid. All right, we finished the quest. Firelock got knocked down a bunch after Lake of Fire nerf. Well, I thought Lake of Fire was a uh, Warlock ability. Halo's, Halo S23, thank you for the sub. Necrum, thank you for the 94. Appreciate it, Familia. Thank you, fam. Paladin DPS sucks. I mean, it's not better than. I mean, right now, like I feel like Sunken Temple is a is a caster's range DPS raid, right? So, at least that's what it feels like. Feel free to burn. I mean, shit. Even with Holy Shock and Exorcism, I feel like I'm range tanking. Del Nadris. be careful. Del Nadris. good luck, friend. Farewell. Goddess, watch over you. Farewell. Good luck, friend. She just wishing me luck, bro. That's all. Uh, finally. I think we got everything. Shit, I don't got enough. I only got like two or three quests. Need some shareage. I just always advertise that I have like 10 quests to share.
Yeah, I have, I have what? I have three. We're going to get Pally Wings at 60. I don't see why not. That might be inflated by Sandstorm Trinket that was nerfed on Monday. True. M. Peterson, thank you for the seven months. Excuse me. Yeah, Ren needs like Ren needs their two minute CDs. Is what they need. They, they they need their two minutes. One second. Was this pulled last night? It was. Look at that. Triple auto. Messi, Ronaldo, and Pele. What a card. What's a number two? It's, it's, uh, it's not a one-on-one, -on -one, though. That's still a crazy card. When they sit, they hit. That's true. They've had Leaf so Vivid Soccer sitting in their, in their break shop for, like, months. That's a sick fucking card. It's a shame that Leaf does not do on-card autos. Imagine if these were on-card autos. This would be like a 5K card, like easily, dude. Hey, you got three legends on one fucking card. Messi, Ronaldo, Pele. Holy shit. It's like three goats, bro. Three straight-up goats. Now we have two. I'm trying to figure out what other kind of abilities we have. I don't know, Les. You know what it is, bro? I just can't believe that they're, they're nerfing it more and more because the more they nerf it, the more bad they look. And I, I, I think I say to myself, you can't look as bad as you do right now when it comes to the Sunken Temple tuning. So I, I was a little sus to, to believe that. This raid is harder than a Midrasil. True. Oh, you know what, man? I wish I was streaming last night. I, I kind of I want to see who the fuck triggered that bomb yesterday on Farak. I swear to God, I thought it was me, bro. <laughs> I, I, I still think it was me. It wasn't you. It was a range one. I saw the replay. Oh, okay. So Okay, so I, I got low on health because of their explosion. Then, I, then we all died, right? I was wondering how I went from like 70% to like 10% like instantaneously. I was like, that can't be the fucking ticking dot damage. I just got the goddamn thing. What's wrong with the tuning? I mean, 80, when you're 80% 80 off on tuning, it's a pretty big fucking deal, bro. You know? I mean, like, I, I don't mind. Like I said, you know, like for me, I'm, I, I'm always thinking about the health of the game. That's it for me. Like. The, the health of the game is always a concern, whether it be Dragonflight or any version of Classic. And I always love to see the games being healthy. 
you know? And it'd be a shame for mass amounts of people to leave a, a, a phase like they did in phase two because of, once again, these same issues, you know? Like I said, it's one thing to be 4 to 5% off on health, but when you're 80% off on health pools, then I don't know. I feel like the excuse just cannot be, oh, we just overestimated player power. You overestimated player power by 80%, bro? That's a lot. That's a lot of damage and a lot of health and a lot of minutes. I mean, didn't they test the bosses and say, yeah, I don't think 12 minutes per boss is what we should do. And then someone just goes, ah, they'll be fine. Those sweat lords will be okay. The people who are whining that it got nerfed probably haven't even stepped into fucking sunken temple. A hundred percent. Ask any of the main raiders of of uh, of classic. They are they are not complaining about it. Or rather, or rather, they are not the ones embracing it at all. None of them are. Yeah, like did nobody from Classic Team just say, hey, guys, just so you know, for reference, we're putting these bosses at 4 million health and Ragnaros is 2.2 .2 at 40 man. You know? Looks like just Treant. Yeah, there, like I said, there's no world in which, like, the top raiders of Classic in the world are, are, are bitching about the nerfs. They're probably more happy than anyone else because they, now they get to do what they love to do, which is log in once a week and speed run the fuck out of that raid with, with multiple tunes. Instead of having to sit there for four hours, five hours on these bosses. Like I said, like personally, I personally I think it's retail players playing sod, talking all that. This is a joke, bullshit. Why they nerf it, bullshit. It's the it's the same people who get mad over mythic rating nerfs, but can't even get into fucking heroic. Dude, not even kills this fucking elite. That dragon's been floating up there for the past two hours, bro. No one's bought that fucker down yet. Oh. Yeah, like in retail, Blizzard nerfs the pain points of a fight, right? They 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 barely ever touch health unless they think they really really need to, and they they did it for a few bosses this tier. But they'll just focus on, like, the pain points. Like, okay, like, we have all the data. We see, you know, everyone's wiping to this one-shot mechanic. We have to probably ease up on it, right? Like, that's normal. But with, but with Sunken Temple, every boss, every single boss has been nerfed. <laughs> every single one. By a huge percentage. Flashback to Razageth ads getting nerfed by 50%. True. But that was like the tail end, right? Like, did we did we did we kill Razageth post or pre nerf for that shit? I feel like I feel like our kill was pre nerf for that for sure, huh? Yeah. Oh, the race. Oh, oh, was that during the race? Oh shit, was was the shield nerf too during the race? Oh, that's right. Ra I'm I'm thinking about the wrong expansion in my head too. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, Razageth was the the tier that frustrated me the most. That was the tier where Blizzard fucking literally handheld every nerf phase by phase until the last minute, and then they just gave it to fucking Echo.
Well, I'm assuming that uh, once Wildhead wakes up, they'll probably be posting the self nerf shit. They're probably compiling all the info. They're probably checking all the abilities too to see what else might have gotten nerfed. They just got to data mine it, right? Just, you know, date, 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 data mine loving. Hello. That's right. Liquid did send an entire fucking team to one platform. Dude, I don't even know what runes I need for tanking on a warlock right now, dude. Not even sure. A grant said they do class tuning once the dust settles. Open for that warlock has so many bugs is insane. Once the dust settles means like tomorrow, by the way. Buff two-handed shaman. Didn't they nerf it? Master Chandler, meta, demonic pack, demonic knowledge. What, what do I have? Oh, I don't even have packed. Which one, which one was demonic knowledge? Where's that at? Oh, wait, do I already have that? I already have that. Oh, oh I'm, I'm wearing it. Okay, that th the one from last year. And Grimoire of Synergy. Hmm. Recite from a dark tome, granting damage done by you and your summon demon by 5%. Uh, a 5% chance to increase the damage done by others by 25%. Last 20, 30 seconds. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I've also seen people complain that just getting runes is starting to get tedious. I'm over here like, man, I, I, I don't know what else players want anymore, dude. Yeah. Like, what else could you possibly want? I mean, the whole BRD thing with the with the Hammer of the Righteous or Paladin, that shit was a fucking joke. Like, I couldn't believe that shit. I was like, I'm like, why are you sending us to a dungeon that we should have no business being in to begin with, dude? When are we getting classic sod P1 servers? <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I would do 1 to 25 like nine times over. They should do it, but this time give us like dead mines as a 10 person raid, you know? Or Wailing Caverns as a 10 person raid. My goods are of the highest like, why the fuck not? Del Dude, th th this last fucking 20% is gonna suck. Yeah, they nerfed the fire elementals for sure, but like the quest has no business being there to begin with. Like the item from the quest should be probably like in the arena or by where the interrogator is, you know? Nothing about this looks fun. Like I said, I don't think it's supposed to be fun, bro. To me, to me, it's just a means to an end. And I'm, I'm kind of okay with that because my goal is just to hit max level and do max level content. I don't really care about the glory of leveling and any of that shit. So obviously I'm at a different opinion than a lot of other players, but that's, you know, that that's, that's my attitude. Like I don't care. Yay. People are sharing.
Oh, I mean, personally, I mean, I love dungeon spamming for leveling, but I mean, this is just more efficient. You know, I, I'm a guy of efficiency. I just want to hit max level and raid. That's it. That's all I want to do because that's, that's all there is to do. That and crafting and some other shit. I don't know. I mean, it was the same thing as Nomer, same thing in BFD, right? Like, once we we leveled and we got to BFD and Nomer, we just logged in twice a week to do BFD and uh, Nomer. STV events. Yeah, whatever. Ab ab about that. About that. No, these are not solo friendly at all. I mean, you could, but I mean, you'd only be doing like two, three quests at a time, which kind of sucks. Sifo, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Then the gear break. True. True. You got it, man. Fucking why not? I mean, all we're doing is going from place to place. Yeah, and you also get honored and a bunch of gold. I've already gotten 235 gold from 40 to 49 so far. I mean, that's pretty damn good. I wouldn't be able to make that gold in this short amount of time, in my opinion. At least, I mean, I wouldn't be able to. It's kind of wild they haven't found the Light's Grace Paladin rune. Does anyone even want that shit? Though? Like, real talk? Well, there you have it. <laughs> That's why no one cares. I'm sure it's located where one of the other ones are located and no one has found it yet. But the collector in me has to have them all. Fuck that. Dude, but most of my tanks don't even have half of their runes. My warlock has like most of the runes missing. Oh shit, someone pulled the elite. Does this fucking dragon still one shot you with his fucking breath? Kind of want to find out. Wow, first time we've killed that elite, like, in forever. Someone says on Twitter, I feel bad for you and Max. Jeez. Apparently every five minutes, someone's asking about Alpha in, in all the chats. Life of a retail streamer, man. Life of a retail streamer. When's Alpha? I want to see if I get in. And I'm just like, lol. <laughs> I am listening. I'm over here like about that, you know. About those lovely, lovely abilities.
There you go. Get everyone involved. Bring it to the tent, you know. Panda has keys. Panda has keys. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't get to wake up or see Panda go live. I only see Panda go live when I do my PM to AMs. I know he's doing the whole uh, helping the homeless stuff in Australia, so that's taking a bunch of his time. What was I currently have? Uh, I have none from this phase. Oh, no, wait. I, ha I do have Unstable Affliction. I got that the other day. I don't even know how I got that. Oh, I got that from the being friendly with the um, these Emerald Wardens. With the Wardens. Almost revered. I must be getting a lot more reputation per turn then. Because Tally isn't even halfway revered. With pre-order beta, I guess no keys this time. Uh, maybe not, no. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Yep, dead. I feel like I'm getting hit harder at 49 than I, uh, that I was at 42. Holy shit. Because your gear is broken. Whatever, man. It's only It was only one piece that was broken, I think. Let me see. Well, yeah, it was just my bindings. Now it's my boots or my belt or something. Now it's my skirt. I should still be able to fucking slam. I'm just tagging that fucker. I'm going to rat the fuck out of this right now, dude. Well, I got one, two, three, four, five. This will be six, seven turn ins. Yeah, this will definitely be level 50 after this. The ratting is done. Now to buy probably a full set of the fucking cloth gear. <laughs> I don't even think I'll need a full set, really. Maybe I will. I don't know. What item level is the uh, that gear that comes from the uh, vendor? Is it 47 or 45? Or is it? Or, it's not that great for lock tanks. What's wrong with it? I didn't use any pieces. Uh, well, I mean, you were probably in Nomer gear. I'm not even in Nomer gear, bro. I have I have three piece Nomer. That's about it. Oh no, I, I think I have all pieces. I need bracers. That's what I fucking need. I need fucking, I need fucking bracers. I think there's a chance for PTR two seven tomorrow. Or alpha? Nope. That's a negative. Well, I mean, I'm PTR maybe. Alpha, 100% no. You're not replacing your tier or your shoulders. That's true. I might not be replacing anything, huh? Maybe rings? Cloak? Maybe cloak? No, definitely not helm. We'll see what they got. Yeah, gloves and a ring. I wouldn't mind. Phoenix bracers. That's what I have. Phoenix bindings. Yeah, all, the only thing that pre-order for War Within gets you is uh, beta, but that's only that's even if you got the Epic Edition, which also comes with a three-day head start. 
people seem to forget that this will be the first expansion ever with a three day head start. I didn't see that coming. That's for damn sure. Need that release date to book time off. Oh, you're not you're not gonna get that till like the month before, honestly. Maybe you might get it maybe two months earlier. That Microsoft influence worse worse than Uncle Bobby. Hello. Hot take. Hot God take. Be careful. Farewell. Del Nadris. It's God getting hot in you. here. Be careful. Good luck, friend. Be careful. And ding. And we're 50. I I'm out of Ashenvale Jail. Let's see what this fucking vendor has. We can repair it now for one gold. Uh. Yeah, th th yeah, this is definitely an upgrade. Yeah, gloves are an upgrade for sure. Uh, boots? Not. Maybe. I mean, these boots do have the one percent, right? Well, I also get 1% from the set, so I guess that evens that out. Shoulders? No. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not really that much of an upgrade, like at all. Like, period. It's like barely an upgrade. Um, you know, you want to do BRD arena runs. BRD arena. Ooh. This ring is pretty good. Probably replace that spirit ring I have. Yo, Les, which is the ring that I would go for? The the 12 stamina arcane resistance one, right? Yeah, I think that's the one we go for. Yeah, to, to replace this amazing six spirit ring that I have. What do you replace my seal of Rin? Oh, I guess you want to keep this because of the um the, the spell damage. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, spell power. I forgot I'm a fucking warlock tank. I forgot I is a lock. Oh, squeaky squeakies. Squeaky squeakies. Goddess watch over you. Um Oh my god, my heart my hearthstone still has Sentinel Hill, bro. I gotta I gotta go to Iron Forge real quick. <laughs> what dude, none of my characters' hearthstones are ever a major city. Or Banthok Sash. Uh, where's that at? Oh, yeah. That's definitely an upgrade. Where's that from? Yeah, if I, if I have the flight point to Booty Bay, I'm going to go to Booty Bay. Good day to you. Oh, is that is that the arena? Banthok or whatever? Well, I, I got to get some runes now, right? So I, I got to start working on my runes. So I think less I need, I need pandemic. 
Grimoire of Synergy. W which are the easiest ones to get? Isn't Demonic Pack from Phase 2, though? No, I don't have Immolation Aura. You can get a better Banthok by doing the Wild Offerings. I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for him to nerf the Wild Offerings. It, it feels like me just going in and out of Maradon 10 fucking times to get one piece of loot is stupid. It's like Princess, Princess, Princess Run. Done. Your order from Steel City has shipped. Woohoo! Let's fucking go. Time for all that Star Wars, baby. Ooh, it looks like uh, Origin just started a new promotion today. What'd they get? Wait, you're telling me I should have gone back to the Ashen Vale, Les? <laughs> Hold on, it says here I just got a notification. Every time Origin has like new deals, they always send me like the little check your promotions link. What do they got? Oh, yeah. 275% off of custom desktops, 300 off of 13th gen lab, uh, laptops. I think they just came out with their 15th gen yesterday. Free bonus games with qualifying systems and free upgrades to two-year part replacement and free shipping. Pretty good fucking deal to me. Sounds like a good deal to me, bro. Yeah, can I get can I get a a, a portal back to Darnassus? Emulation or was that the incursion? Okay, so I gotta kill I gotta kill the mobs on the non-dream side, one type of each combined to three items. Okay, that's easy. Darn asses. Make sure your gear. I mean, I just hit 50, so sure. I mean, I got the crafted helm. That's about all I got. Now weapon fucking blows. Where can I get a really good weapon? Should I just run Mara for the mother or the, the goblin one-hander? Packed is the, is the turbo shredders. What the fuck? All right, hold on. Where's the inn? I forgot where the inn was. Around here. Is it is it is it down or up? Is it away? Is it over there? I think it was on the second floor. Or is it in here? No, it's not in here. Anyone know where the inn is? South? Like like which 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 building is it? It's one of these buildings, right? This one? Oh, this is uh, C. Wolf McKinley. Have a good one. The one behind the troll. Oh. Oh, is it in here? Oh, I guess so. I got what you need. Hurry back. Cool. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably learn my talents as I haven't learned anything since level 40. <laughs> I got I got like 3 in, I got like 3 searing pains and shit, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, out of my 386 gold, I'm probably going to go down like 50 gold. Imp Explorer portals, Modus Carcum. What? What's that?
I, I don't even get results on that when I look it up on Wowhead. What's up, man? What's up, Maddie Boat? Don't even bother with Modus Karkin. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You're definitely not doing Modus Karkin. Well, what the hell is Modus Karkin? Why y'all like trying to scare me with some dumb ass shit? Demonic Pack the one I need? Yeah, how do we get Demonic Pack? They added new rift portals in the world ex uh, exclusive to locks in Phase 3. You can send a special imp in there and it'll come back in about 30 minutes with some loot. The loot is a low percentage drop rate to be an epic dagger. Are, do the rifts spawn in the same place the entire time? Oh, Demonic Pack is turning in all that, all that shit for the gold, right? In uh, Ratchet? That's the Ratchet quest. Uh, Grimoire of Synergy. Here we go. Is that what it is? Is that, is that the one? Grimoire of Synergy? I got to get a quest in the Barrens. Then go to Ashenvale, loot the Bow of Shadows in the northeast corner uh, from a tree. And then Soul Vessel. Obtain a Soul Vessel. It can be crafted with engineering. It can be bought from supply officers of Azeroth. So I need a bunch of it. So, so I'm going to be spending a lot of gold to finish some runes today, it looks like. For all this ones for, uh, w w what's, what's the one that I get in the, um, in from killing the mobs in the, the dream, the non dream, which one's that one again? The immolation. Oh, that's yeah, immolation. Okay, so we can get that one pretty quick then. All right, beam me up, Scotty. I'm gonna go do that Ashenvale one. Then I gotta go to the Barrens. Aren't, aren't you gonna port the uh, uh, Darnassus or what? I think it was the 19 months, Matty boy. Appreciate it. I think it's the Baron's quest first. Okay. Uh, Baron's quest was Grimoire, right? Grimoire. To Booty Bay. see Matt on Twitter says I don't think they nerfed ST that much for that reason I think it's purely a we fucked up sorry reason that's not what they said they definitely did not say sorry
I, I'm still trying to find out where all these magical casuals told Blizzard that they wanted harder raids in Phase Three. I can't, I can't find these fucking allegations. Let me tell you, people, people must have amnesia or something. Horde raids are getting a bonus 25,000 plus mana during boss fights. Who cares? It's all nerfed, bro. I guess because of shamanistic rage. Oh god, look look how much elixirs of mongoose cost. Holy shit. <laughs> Check this out. Now the bots are literally standing at the innkeeper just waiting for a ban. What the fuck? And they're all mages too. Control A delete. That's fun. A way around the sunken temple, double Drake soft lock. You might run into a bug where Dream Scythe and Weaver that soft locks you from progressing. Oh, that's the, the lockout thing, right? What is mana? SOD for dummies. How to invite 19 shamans to a raid. <laughs> oh, man. I remember a grand promising more loot as it stands now. We get half the amount of items as in Nomer. I've been saying that since we got into Sunken Temple. Of course, the week one sunken temple damage post gets 996 comments. Let's take a look at some of these uh, top takes. Warriors have been a little too quiet on this sub uh, this week, and I figured that was why. <laughs> Did 900 DPS on Aranicus. We good. <laughs> That's true. I don't see warriors talking at all, bro. They're smart. They're fucking smart, too. That's crazy. <laughs> Y'all got any more of them? Innovates, mana, potions, waters, and soups. Humana, 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 humana. Divine Ages is garbage. Been farming these world core fragments for six hours and have zero. Great rune mechanic, Blizzard. This is ridiculous considering backdraft is pretty much necessary to have for Warlock DPS. Oof. That, six hours? Dude, they must have so many bugs and issues they have to fix, bro. Good lord. You know? It, it feels like there's so many little things wrong right now with different classes. And most of it's all just quality of life shit, too, which is even crazier. Uh, I got to go to 4957 in the Barrens. That is very far that this way. As a matter of fact, I can't even see where it is. Oh, there it is. It's on my, it's on my fucking map. Oh, wait, should I pick up the one here in Booty Bay? I gotta pay for shit. Well, let me abandon these fucking quests. Check the WoW news. What am I checking for? You know, you can link it if you'd like.
Took me five hours just to do the overcharge rune on my shaman. Jesus. Hmm, interesting. Be good. Shouldn't he give me a quest or something? What brings you here? Uh, under development, WoW Remix of Pandaria. WoW Remix, Mr. Pandaria. Okay, what's going on? Is this a, um, is this, is this a April Fool's or just for real? Like, Let me go to the World of Warcraft Twitter. I'm sure, they announced it there too. Oh, it says it's not, is it on a PTR right now? It says ten two seven and WoW Remix is on is now in a PTR. Oh, did they update it? That's weird. I'm still, I'm still not up to date though. World of Warcraft Remix is a Pandaria limited time event. Start fresh with a new character and play at an accelerated pace. Play through all quest scenarios, dungeons, and raids. Unleash your true potential with mighty powers and loot. Collect account-wide cosmetics new and old. Okay, I'll bite. I'll bite. I'll bite. Let's see. World of Warcraft Remix is a time-limited event which allows players to re-experience the entirety of the Mr. Pandaria expansion at an accelerated rate from level 10 through 70. All loot has been completely overhauled and has powerful new effects allowing players to shape their experience, power up, and power on features include accelerated leveling and content allowing you to take on nearly every quest scenario dungeon and raid creating a new wow remix character starting at level 10 to adventure through the level uh the event to uh up to level 70 a mountain of loot get powerful items from anywhere quest chest creatures bosses customizable items allowing you to power up as far as you can uh take a on tougher content hmm. convert unwanted items into bronze which can be used to upgrade items for or purchase cosmetics Keep what you collect. Take your collection of transmogs with you into the war within. No expansion purchase is needed. World of Warcraft subscription or game time is required to begin this fast-paced adventure through Pandaria. This means that classic players can also participate in a plethora of Pandemonium by simply installing the modern WoW. Wow, wait, so is there is there a third thing now next to Plunderstorm? WoW trial accounts will also be able to experience the WoW remix without a subscription to the game through level 20. Interesting. Create a new modern World of Warcraft character to undertake your adventures in Pandaria. Collect a variety of powerful items, which they already said. Hmm. They got meta gems. Equip, summon a storm, call down five bolts of lightning every one second. Each bolt inflicts 25,000 nature damage to an enemy within 30 yards. During the storm, three flowers grow around the caster. After five seconds, the flowers bloom, restoring health and granting haste for 10 seconds. And they got primordial gems. I mean, can we try it right now? Or I mean, they said it's live on the PTR, right? I don't see it live on the PTR. Well, I mean, well, fuck it. Let's see. Maybe it's... Uh... Maybe it's still under ten two five. Well, I don't know. I want to see if it's even on the PTR. I don't think it's there yet. Although the the Twitter post made it seem like it's live. Yeah, right. Like it looks like it's like right now. Let me see. It says Wow Remix is is now on the PTR. 
Yes, it's not, well, I think we may have to restart B net. Oh, yeah, you didn't play Pandaria. Yeah, right. The characters will be transferred to retail realms after the event. Yeah, but I doubt you get to keep all that power, though, because our main characters don't even have that much power. Maybe it's in the 10.2.6 version? Big shovels. Thank you for converting to a T1. I appreciate it, man. I guess not. No, I just see Plunderstorm. Is it another create new character? Oh. I thought it would be like another thing here that says limited time event. Oh, I'm trying to figure out when this is going live. I have a 1027 just downloaded it. Oh, maybe, maybe it. Okay. Well, now, well, let me see. 1027 is what is just the name of the, the server. Like the, the version down here, does yours, does yours down here say 1027? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Let me ask around and see what's up. So basically, we're just leveling through Pandaria, but we have like pretty absurd powers, right? Does that does that seem about right? They just wrote the blue post in advance, and we do the raids. The raids should be pretty cracked out, I would assume, right? I assume you're super cracked out on the raids. But is the version at the bottom 1027? What? You guys are trolling me, dude. Lula's like, I have 1027. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let's all. Everyone hold the phone here. I'm, 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 I'm trying to see what's what. I'm trying to get some info right now as we speak. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not. It's it'll be a ten two five version though. <laughs> we all got it except for T. Are you guys playing the new the new mode yet, or something? That would be my favorite expansion. MOP was my third favorite expansion until BFA. Then I probably put BFA over MOP. Then MOP kind of moved into the four slot. Still great, though. So I guess this is what they meant by time running pandemonium. Look at this negative Nancy in Twitter. Please stop this. I roll alts because I love expressing new concepts and to bring pre-existing OCs to life, not to try a new mini game. Bro, Blizzard just does fun shit and people are just like, 
you know, like fucking hell. Fucking hell, bro. Is that the new PBE thing that Holly was talking about? Yes. I want to see some of these other items that we're going to be getting. That was a meta gem. Thundering Orb. Transform into a Thundering Orb, inflicting nature damage to enemies within 30 yards over 4 seconds while you are a Thundering Orb. Damage taken is reduced by 50%, movement speed reduced by 70%, and you are immune to loss of control effects. Oblivion Spear. Coalesce an orb of pure void that increases critical strike damage taken by enemies within 15 yards or 50% for 10 seconds. At the 4 seconds, the orb explodes, inflicting shadow damage. That's a meta socket. Give PTR. I'm trying to find out, man. I'm like... like When, when they say now on the PTR, I'm, I take that literally. Like, it's on the PTR now. <laughs> you know? Like... Uh, that, that, that's uh, does anyone else not interpret it that way that's how I always interpret it you know maybe I'm cra maybe I'm crazy I don't know Yeah, it doesn't say coming soon. It doesn't say later this afternoon. It says now on the PTR. Yeah. Zane's Pharaoh is looking for 83 months. What's this? Primordial gems. Isn't that this is what we had in um in the Forgotten Shores or whatever? Hailstorm. Every three seconds builds a charge of hailstorm. Upon reaching 10 stacks, unleash a hail on enemies within 50 yards. Each impact inflicts frost damage and applies numbing cold. And I mean, cold reduces their movement speed and reduces damage dealt by 10%. It's a good tank one. Cold front. Your allies have a chance to grant all allies a shield absorbing damage and applying numbing cold to all enemies within 50 yards. Wildfire. Your abilities have a chance to inflict additional fire damage and spread wildfire to nearby enemies, inflicting fire damage every one second for 10 seconds. Wildfire stacks and spreads to nearby enemies up to 10 times. It's already there. I never left Pandaria. Yeah, no challenge mode kind of sucks. What do they mean by giving additional character slots? Well, because you're going to be playing a, a, another separate version of WoW, right? I'm assuming it's going to be another tab like Plunderstorm. You hit Plunderstorm and then it's going to start a Mr. Pandaria character. Or else you'd be able to do some silly shit with, with sending shit through the mail. Tink Master Shield. Grants a shield absorbing damage equal to 20% of your total health. This shield will regenerate after not suffering any damage for 10 seconds. Lol. Fervor. While you are above 80% health, your attack consumes 2% of your uh, maximum health to inflict holy damage equal to the amount consumed. That's a tanking one for prot. Sunstrider Flourish. Uh, your critical strikes erupt in a fiery explosion. Inflicting fire damage to enemies within 15 yards of your target fits in a tinker slot. Then there's cogwheel gems, which is basically me mechagon, right? Style gems. Blink, teleports you 10 yards forward or until reaching an obstacle and frees you from all stuns and bonds. Sprint and roll. Okay, so you can have that as you can have roll as any class. Okay, I'm down with that. Cloak of Infinite Potential. You'll also be able to uh, earn an artifact cloak that gains permanent power increases as you play. Power, power you earn on your strongest character is shared with alternate characters created for the event to make leveling even faster. Cloak of the Infinite Potential. Grants, grants to a following aura. Time Runner's Advantage. The threads of time uh, you find will be woven into this cloak, permanently increasing the power. The cloak grants you the following stats. 324 strength, 620 stamina, 324 crit, leech, mastery, verse, and experience. 324% experience gain. <laughs> what the what the fuck? <laughs> Blizzard's like, fuck it. Blizzard's like, fuck it, bro. Yo, why, why couldn't these devs that did this do phase three of SOD?
Like, what the fuck? Holy shit. Season of MOP is going to be cracked. Might update and now show servers offline instead of incompatible. That's good. But mine doesn't show that yet. I'm still up to date. But could be. Earn titles, a variety of transmogs, previously unreleased color variants of older mounts. And, wow, that looks awesome. And more simply, by completing WoW Remix, specific achievements during the Remix event, the achievements will become feats of strength when the event ends. There's no such thing as a bad drop, and any drop you get can be converted into a new currency, bronze. You'll be able to use this currency to purchase upgrades in World of Warcraft account-bound cosmetics. Head to a bazaar in any zone to purchase everything from class transmogs to Mr. Pandaria mounts, toys, and more. Bro, you think they'll have the challenge mode transmog there? I know that's a little copium, but, you know, would be, would be fucking cool if they did. Imagine, dude. This allows players to purchase items that are previously unable to obtain or difficult to obtain as a random drop by simply spending their new currency. Players won't be able to use the auction house in, in World of Warcraft Remix Mr. Pandaria. So there's no auction house. I don't think you'll fucking need it. Continue the story of Dragonflight as a Dark Heart content update 1027 ushers in the final chapter of the expansion and sets the stage for War Within. I wonder if... um, I wonder if they're going to have... Uh, what you would call it? Oh. The that's just. <clears throat> I don't think I want to do the storyline, honestly. This basically means no classic MOP, right? Now, my still says incompatible. You might, you might, you might be logged into the ten two six PTR and not ten two seven. I still can't get shit done here. I'm still waiting for a response to see what the deal is. Bro, like, like honestly, man, like the, con the, the content's just not stopping. <laughs> it's like one thing after another. Bl I, Blizzard is just front loading all this shit, bro. You got phase three. You got this. You got, you know, alpha soon, 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 soon. You know, it's like, holy fuck. Dude, 324%. Let's see what the comments say. This should be juicy. Fix the damn game instead of adding new modes. Downvote. They should fix re they should fix mythic rating instead of doing some weird stuff. Still stuck on tendril. I spoke too soon. No one can complain now. Oh, dude, this is wowhead. That's all they do is complain. Good for the people who enjoy these things. I, for one, couldn't care less for Plunderstorm or whatever this will be. I really hope they don't add things in there as rewards for retail servers to incentivize people to play. Oh, no. God forbid more people play World of Warcraft through incentivization. What? That would be fucking terrible. What the fuck? So basically, Chromie time. I still don't see what they are trying to accomplish here. Maybe merging post classics back into retail. I guess this is the pandemonium time running they mentioned in a roadmap. They're PvE only people enjoy. Hell yeah. yeah. Our community is our community fucking sucks on retail. They really fucking do. They gave us a cool plunderstorm event. They're giving us this event. They're giving us more shit to do. And everyone's just like, yeah, if they fix the game. And it cost me a rate. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, they're so obnoxious and insufferable now. Some of these fucking players on Wowhead, man. And MMO Champion. Holy shit. Bunch of nut jobs. All of them, bro. Good on Blizzard for trying new stuff despite people hating every single move they make. A Amen, Agent Killer Lee. What the fuck? Why aren't they making content for the actual WoW game? What's with all these separate modes? Ugh, this is tiresome. It's all new content. Can't wait for this. I love it. Yay, finally a positive statement. I wonder if MOP challenge mode gear transmog. Nope. 
th that's just absolutely brilliant. Blizzard getting them W's back to back is almost suspicious. <laughs> this is interesting, and since the selling point is getting transmogs and stuff, damn yeah, I'm in. Bring new players into the game for them to just be let down end game since nothing gets fixed and only new gimmicks like this get added. What a letdown. I haven't logged in for over a month at this rate. Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's a good one. Everyone's worried about challenge mode shit. This is a fail if the Rathian cloaks aren't available. Bro, there's a cloak with 324 to each stat and 324% EXP gains on all your characters. There's no way that's a fail. There's no way that's a fail, bro. Could this be a setting stage for the war within? No, 1027 storyline is. You know? This sounds sick. I started in BFA, so getting experience the older content in an event like this is cool, and those mounts look awesome. Finally, yes, revamped more in-depth time walking, essentially, to allow us to experience previous expansion content without a fully old version of the game, i.e. classic. I like modern WoW over old low classic wow personally but i still think many of the old raids and end game content from expansions past would be awesome to experience today and this keeps players playing warcraft smart true true that's why it's a limited time event you know i mean that's the beauty of it it's limited time you get to experience it and then you know it's pretty much gone but this also could be the stage for doing this, but for other expansions. You know, can you imagine like a, a, a Draenor pandemonium? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if people would want that. Let me tell you. I, I don't know if people want Draenor pandemonium. I mean, for three hundred and twenty-four percent experience, though, I'll 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 try it. You know, I'll definitely do it for that. All right. So so far, the you know, uh, I, I mean, I'm not really surprised. The Wowhead community is, you know, eighty percent, you know, fuck the world, I hate my life, and twenty percent is actually positive about it. So I'm okay with it. I wasn't a fan of Plunderstorm, but this looks really cool. Well, yeah, because. Plunderstorm was more like PvP, PvE. This is like strictly PvE. This, that's the worst idea I've ever seen. NGL. Recycle content with recolored mounts. What's next? 11.1 .1 is Legion Remix. Oh my God. I hope so. Bro, I would bust all kinds of fat nuts for a Legion Remix. What is wrong with these players? What is wrong with these players, bro? These people got fucking issues is what they got. These guys, these people must have real life problems that just makes them miserable all day long. All right, bro, we already have a new expansion coming out literally in like four to five months and we're getting cool shit to do in between. Well, then, I'm interested. WoW is so back, dude. Dragonfly era will go down in history as the best time to be a, uh, a WoW player. Hope it continues. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. I've said it, I've said it since Dragonfly 10.1. I said, I said Dragonfly is going to go down as one of the best expansions in the history of WoW for casual players. Easily. I hope they utilize this tech to allow players to experience all the expansions this way. I hope so, too. But once again, limited time event. So th I'm assuming this is going to run until probably the expansion launches. Or until 1027 launches, really. 
Yeah, actually, actually, I think this is going to take us to ten two seven, and then ten two seven will have the storyline for getting us into the war within. Oh, th did they say pre-patch already? Brother, that Phoenix recolor makes me like the ugly Pandaria Phoenixes. I didn't like Pandaria back then, but without the snore chores, I'm glad I'll gladly play this. Oh yeah, we don't have to do dailies, do we? Please tell me the dailies are gone. Surely they're gone. Surely. Surely. So this is the fir first test of the actual NG plus with content? No, stop it. I appreciate the effort that will begrudgingly play through this, just like Plunderstorm, but any time-limited event that requires you to create an entirely new character seems to be completely missing the appeal of this game. What are you talking about, bro? 324% EXP. Did these guys even read the fucking post? Holy shit. Bro, I'm going to breathe on a fucking boar and get level 10. Or, I guess, 20. More likely an event similar to Plunder Storm to fill the dead time between content. Yeah, that's good. I don't get the mentality of WoW players. For years, all we've bitched about was that during the, that, that we've had nothing to do in WoW for 11 months, 10 months, 16 months at one point, 18 months with SOO, a year and a half of the same content, same rares, same everything. We had, we've had the worst droughts in WoW history. That's all we complained about, the drought, the drought. What do we do during a drought? Now they give you cool time limit events, a full season to go through, other versions of WoW, another time-limited fun event until a patch comes out. Every gap is being replaced with content, and people are still fucking mad. What do they want? What? I feel like I want to take them and just, and just, 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 just fucking shake them and be like, what do you want? You know? Shaken man baby syndrome. What do you want? You know? It's fucking weird, bro. Holy shit. So what you're saying is you don't want content. Uh, I literally just had to check the date to make sure this isn't an April Fool's thing. Sigh. I kind of feel the same. I like new innovations, but like I'd rather play with characters I already have. Boring. Seems like intriguing stuff. Could be fun to play with. Modern retail gets a little too stale. This sounds awesome. I can't wait till data mining begins so uh, we will know all the rewards. I cannot give any less of a toss about some mount reskins people asked for. Uh, asked for a way to get the challenge mode sets again. And the reply was, what if we do something even better? I, I don't even know that was all English I just read. My interest is peaked. Yeah, I don't think anyone read the full post and looked at all the abilities. For me, personally, it's a win. I don't like Dragonflight at all. I have no incentive to level a character and have actually already finished with the idea of playing The War Within. Sure. Sure. Of course. Now that I can level my character with MOP without paying extra and get the equipment accordingly, I can start the new expansion without Dragonflight. Hi, Tally Chat. Ha! What's up? Everyone say hi to the young man on Wowhead that's not complaining like a little fucking dumbass.
Moz, can you please uh, clip my my shaking man baby syndrome clip? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Wowhead. I've been confused that this is time running pandemonium. Yes, that's what, exactly what it is. Yeah, the comments just get juicier and juicier, bro. These, these fuckers have the worst hot takes ever. It's crazy how Wowhead commentators or comment posters are actually now worse than MMO Champion. MMO Champion's like a bunch of Care Bears now over there. They're, it's like they migrated or something. I feel like they migrated over, dude. You know? That, 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 that's what I feel like has happened. Like, there was like a, a weird migration between like, or else, I don't know, somehow we just accumulated all these bad people. Where do we leave off here? The high tally chat guy. This guy just says, well, I'm interested. When is this going live? It looks interesting, but hopefully I won't lose half my season four raid team to Pandaria Mega Mix. <laughs> really? The raids aren't going to be hard, bro. Uh, he called it Pandaria Mega Mix. I'm like, well, you, you don't have to desert season four because, well, I mean, I guess this will be happening during season four for sure. I don't know, man. Season four for me, I'm hoping that we only raid once a week for season four because between this Pandaria shit, Alpha, I mean, for me, Alpha is higher priority than this Pandaria stuff. And it's going to be for a lot of us creators. So that's what I want. If this shit comes out on a PTR today, I want to do it all today and then not do it when it's live. Well, I guess I'll have to do it live for the rewards, but. Let's see what Reddit has to say about this newfound information. Wow. I finally get to go to the WoW subreddit. I've been going to the classic WoW subreddit for the last two weeks. Is this shit available yet? I'm still trying to find out whether it's going to come out anytime soon today. Because if not, then my ass is just going to leave <laughs> and come back tonight. Oh, 170 comments on, on Reddit. This ought to be good. Yo, here we go. First comment. This is the one. Upvote. Anyone know the legendary cape quest is open with this? You get a better one. At least there won't be MOP classic. MOP was so fun, especially the rare spawns and challenges. You know what? I don't think this means there's no MOP classic. I think this is meant to get people hyped up temporarily. Limited time event for Mr. Pandaria in preparation for MOP classic. Right? That makes more sense to me. Yeah. It, th th this is basically a very, very early marketing experiment for Blizzard to see what the interest is in Mr. Pandaria. That's why it's only limited time. That's why Cat is only going to last one year according to the timeline. You know? White Dark Winter Post. Let's see. I'm freaking stoked for this. I love the MOP so much. That said, it's time limited, which means no matter how cool this is, people are going to be losing their minds about being forced to play it for the cosmetics. To, so brace yourselves. 10-man, 25-man heroics at 70. Hopefully Blizzard, see, uh, hopefully Blizzard sees everyone will be doing 10-man heroic and then switch and then switch Mythic 20-man to 10-man like it should be. No. Please never fucking do that, ever. I had to do a double take when I saw this. I love the MOP. Perhaps my favorite expansion. This is actually incredibly neat. I can't wait to try it out. Not sure where this came from, uh, but I'm all for it. I mean, it's been on the roadmap for like three months now. You know? B. Carter with the 117. What's up, buddy? What's going on, homie? Remember when everyone was pissed when Pandaria was announced? I remember. Oh, my God, do I remember. Yeah, all of a sudden, MOP is like the best expansion ever. But when we were there on this stream for the launch of MOP, the negativity was off the fucking rails. You know? 
season four will have like three people playing now. True. So this is where SOD is taking us. Nice. I wonder how many character slots are going to add to retail for this, as I know a lot of people, myself included, are at cap. I'm at cap. This looks sick. I feel I always have something somewhere somewhere on WoW. Never have to feel my sub is always worth. Or never have to feel like my sub is, I, I guess, never worth, like what you meant to say. Bro, how is Reddit 80% more positive than WoWhead? This sounds incredible. Always wanted to experience Pandaria as a current content. Been my favorite expansion conceptually since I started in Legion. I'll resub and play this. This is my favorite expansion. Where were all these? This is my favorite expansion people during MOP, man. Where where the fuck were you guys at, huh? Where were you? All I had to deal with was, was with fucking Athene lovers. You know, pandas, pandas, like the pandas suck pandas. You know, that's all you fucking heard for like months. Yeah, where, where the fuck were these people? Yeah? The pandas, pandas. I know people are hyped for this, but they are quite literally recycling entire expansions as patch content now. I know, but with more. Is this in place MOP Classic? Then absolutely fuck this. The only reason I'm playing Kata is to be in the swing of things for MOP. You, there will be an MOP Classic. Is there anything not to like about this? Okay, this is wild. I just hope they accelerate the rep grinds too if they are even a part of this. Nobody wants to do dailies for all the reps in a limited time event. Amen. Upvote that comment. The amount of content you get in the subscription at the moment is insane. MLP is my favorite X pack ever. What the fuck? So I'm looking forward to this. Oh, look, more FOMO. Fuck this. Downvote. This is hype as fuck. Upvote. Having to create another character kind of kills this for me despite the faster leveling. See, I think this would be. This doesn't work if you do it on your main character, though, in my opinion. Then there is no experience of leveling with all these insane amounts of extreme power, right? This means the farm is coming back. No, I don't think a new tune is dumb as hell. I think a new tune is supposed to be what was is the whole experience. What if there was a new race? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, we do have a new race. Pandas. The mention of Eternus is interesting since it implies there will be a lore reason for this WoW remix mode. Oh, yeah, Eternus was the uh, time dragon in the uh, Dragonflight storyline. Terrible. So that's 10 to 6, 10 to 7 with absolutely no content for retail. Why build them as retail patches? What are you talking about? It's all content. You prepubescent little fucker. Jesus. How do you like how do you say comments like that, bro? How limited are we talking about, though? Probably like six weeks limited. Is the Warlock class reverted to MOP2? Between this and all the modular components they've bought in from Plunderstorm, it's interesting seeing their experiments for the future of the game. Sounds like a great fun on paper or just blast to an expansion in a streamlined way. True. They say you create a modern WoW character so allied races are in. Ooh, I'll, I'll do a Colt Terran. I'll do a Colt Terran for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. It's current class loadouts doing the M uh, the MOP shit. Now they don't need pre-patch content to have alt catch-up. True. I'm 100% playing this. Fuck yes. Oh my gosh, that sunshine version of the Astro Mount. Imagine. Interesting. Wonder if this means classic ends with Kata. Nope. Very curious about how the rating works in this. Tough to imagine at least the level up versions will be much more LFR difficulty, but I'm curious what the heroic versions will look like. Could be a lot of fun to go through the raid progression with a lot with a bit of difficulty again. Stop stop it. Stop talking. Stop talking difficulty again. Stop it. Stop it. I I I I already I already paid my dues on Lei Shen and, and, and fucking Garrosh and shit. All right, I ain't gonna do that shit again. Yeah, raid bosses will and should fall over. This is great. MLP was my favorite expansion. This event is an altaholic's dream come true. So SOD, but for MOP, seems interesting, but I'd rather do it on my main, not make a new character. It's just going to get deleted. I thought, 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 thought I was going to move, move to the main characters.
Yeah, not getting deleted unless you choose to. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Upvote. Collectibles not released during MOP sound very interesting. Another chance to get collectibles someone missed while MOP was current. True. That's what I'm excited for. MOP had a lot of pretty good, decent transmog gear. The only way I will do this is if they give us the last color variants of the CM set. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think you can see, I don't think that's a thing. People say that six weeks isn't enough time, but I don't, I don't think people read the post and saw the cloak that said 324% experience gained. I, I feel like people did not read the post. Uh, do, do you guys realize what 324% is? Man. Like, bro. That's like one quest is probably like 40% of a level. Maybe more. Garrosh did nothing wrong, bro. That's that. That's what this proves. This just proves Garrosh did nothing wrong, dude. So all level characters will be transferred to your retail account after and there's a cloak power with 320% experience gain. Dude, imagine if they allow you to use that cloak in retail once your characters transfer over and you can use that to level your characters before the War Within comes out. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Maybe? 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 No shot? Possible shot? Possible shot? I nut? I'm kind of nutting right now. Challenge mode. AP is back. Let's go. <laughs> Wrong expansion, dude. I need that golden astral cloud serpent. This is fucking insane. See how positive these Redditors are? How how did Reddit become positive? When did when did this happen in the WoW subreddit? I must have missed all the Dragonflight stuff on 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 the subreddit. Maybe like all the negative people got banned, and that's how they got on WoWhead. Oh, here's a bad one. Honestly, it's starting to piss me off that they're creating more and more games within the game. This is dumb. I don't want to create new characters. I want to play the character I already have. Who plays one character anymore, bro? Like, everyone should be playing multiple characters. They then don't play the game mode. To me, this reaction is like complaining that they have PvP when all you want to do is PvE. It makes sense to have different ways to play a game, and it's okay if you don't want to play all those different ones. This two patches in a row, we've had nothing new to do on retail. I disagree. Plunderstorm. Have you never been? Dude, I hope they do it for Legion. That'd be so good. I want to get I, I want to get my CE portals, and I'm not doing that with this. This is awesome. <laughs> but they're leaving the actual game in the dust by making these. No, they're not, bro, because they, we're currently in the middle of making a new expansion. And, and in one week and a half, you're going to have season four. And then six weeks after that, you're going to have 10 to 7. Literally within the next two months. What do you mean leaving the current game in the dust? People are still playing the current game. I mean, if you're done, you're done. That's cool. Play another version of WoW or don't play at all, right? I mean, it's that simple. Like, I don't know. Can I get the fucking cloak? <laughs> Wonder what the goal is here for the future of the game. None. It's just for fun. Just like Plunderstorm. I think people have a hard time saying the words Blizzard making fun things. Maybe because of the past. Maybe this could be just PTSD, honestly. This just this just might be one big case of PTSD. Plain and simple. 
This sounds fantastic. I hope they utilize this tech to allow players to experience all the other expansions this way. Or better yet, use this tech to create new MSQs that takes players to all the major story beats of the game if they choose. That'd be a pretty cool idea. I'm not sure how I feel about this. On one hand, MOP was great. On the other hand, it's not my character. Edit, missed the line about remix characters converting to live. That's neat. It seems like leveling is weird. Like it's somehow accelerated, but Siege of Org is level 60. That Phoenix and Gold Cloud Serpent looks amazing, though. I'll do it without a doubt, but not being separate gives me mixed feelings. You could read the article. <laughs> Some guys like, you just could read the article. All right, so it's MOP and Alpha for the next couple of months. Blizzard is bipolar. They cook something good, fuck it up. Everyone never trusts them again. Then they cook something good up again. Wait, like what? This is Blizzard and a new competent leadership. Since, yeah, since Dragonflight, really. Blizzard, after suffering Shadowlands and the sub count drops too, they have competition now. <laughs> competition, stop it. You, bro, you think about it right now. The top three MMORPGs in the world are World of Warcraft Retail, SOD, well, just maybe those, maybe those two, and, and maybe Wrath. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, the top five MMORPGs in, in, in the world right now, I, th I think WoW takes up three of the five spots, like, easily. Yeah, they're competing within themselves. Aeon, Rift, and Wildstar. You just named three dead games, bro. <laughs> Riot MMO, real competitor, bro. I said it earlier. Clip and mark my words. Within the next two years, Riot announces that that MMO is not happening. If, if you didn't read the room when that dude made that post for Riot, you, you, were, you didn't know what was going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Two more years, give it. This is good. This is good. I have only one question. Can we kill Ordos in this event? <laughs> oh, no. Wild team is cooking. They'll certainly take a break from Classic to try this out. This is fire. I'm waiting for the monkey paw to curl, but this looks cool as heck. Looks absolutely fantastic and unlike Plunderstorm, something that should keep people's attention until TWW. Well, I mean, Plunderstorm is pretty much done in a week and a half, right? MOs are slowly dying. Not wow. Right? I mean, wouldn't Plunderstorm be over at the start of 10 to 6 season 4? This is absolutely insane. Diablo seasonal character content, but for WoW. Insanely buffed everything. Exploring an entire expansion is what is, I assume, a fairly short period of time. Damn, absolutely loving it. And those who missed out on it get to do the legendary quest line with Rathian and see all the fuckery that happened to poor Anduin. True. True. Yeah, the, the raids are going to be interesting. It seems like they want you to pug the raids, too. I I, I, I doubt that they, in a short, limited-time event, they expect people to make big guilds and stuff like that. I mean, you, we could, for sure. Holy shit. Oh, you don't like Faded? Have the whole fucking Mr. Pandaria. Oh, this, this one got downvoted. Oh, I wonder why. More FOMO content tied to throwaway characters. Great. Why can't they just leverage uh, their existing time-walking tech instead of spinning up brand-new servers? Because time walking is boring. Rad as hell. Dad comment. Increase upvote. Yeah, can we can we can we bring up the PTR now for real though? Like Okay, I can, end my, I can end my stream in peace today. 
Uh, let's see. I do hope they don't tie amounts to heroic raids and stuff, though. Getting an organized raid group for a limited time event like this could be tough as is. Bro, I, I, don't, I don't think people realize how powerful you're going to be by the time you're 70 in this event. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, don't, I don't think people realize it yet. You know? I, I, don't th I don't think they understand, dog. I think they're conflicted. You know? I think they're very conflicted. You know? Yeah, like I said, I think this whole ordeal is basically advertising for MOP Classic. People, and that's what Blizzard's going to do. They're going to they're going to IV drip you. That's what they're, they're they're just giving you the little IV. It's dripping slowly, right? Here's a little bit of Mr. Pandaria, a little bit of power in MOP. Here's MOP, MOP, MOP. Get the words MOP in your brain, MOP in your head. Limited time event, then done. And then what are you going to say in your head? Oh man, that was awesome. I want more MOP, more MOP. One of the things more MOP. Mr. Pandaria Classic announced more MOP. Woo! You know, like that's what they want you to do. And it's gonna it's gonna work. It's gonna fucking work too. It's gonna work. They're showing us that they can create more game mods based on whatever they want, which is kind of cool. The fact that they can separate like our retail characters and make something completely different for us to do that has nothing to do with the main game, I think is fine. Other people hate it. I love it. Like I love Plunderstorm. I love the fact that Plunderstorm was its own little battle royale PVE PVE or PVPVE event that had nothing to do with me logging into Towley. You know. Yeah, I hope they keep doing more and more and more. There's still that vampire survivals thing, too. What if I think this was that, bro? I'm pretty sure. I think this is that. I, I think we're going to find some of those vampire survival things inside the MOP pandemonium. The comments are salty. Not really. Not, not on Reddit. Reddit's pretty like, I would say Reddit's like 80% positive, 20% negative, whereas Wowhead is 80% negative, 20% positive. Twitter's pretty that's yeah, Twitter's always pretty positive too, yeah. Yeah, I'm done for the day. You'll find out on Twitter in a few in a few minutes or hours why. Damn, a lot of comments. I like methods. They are cooking again. I am here for the peaceful chicken. I hope he's only mentioned I didn't play because of school. This is so exciting. Your learning will continue. <laughs> Time to level the shadow pan hunter I've always wanted. Season of Discovery meets retail. So is this like Season of Discovery Plus? PTR? Uh, what? 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 Where, where, where is the tip? <laughs> hey, Trick Drummer. Hopefully, MOP's farming cooking systems comes a new expansion. It's one of the best. Holy smoke. The cooking continues. Y'all are killing it. I quit retail. Why now? Why Why this is so weird? And that's why that, that, that guy is a perfect example why you just don't quit retail and you don't unsub. You just just don't need to. You just don't need to. It's, no, it, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. You know, it's kazoo time blizzard right now. <laughs> They're cooking. They're cooking, boys. The content don't stop. Blizzard doesn't want us playing any other game. But wow, bro. Ian's over here like, yeah, you know, when you're done with Dragonflight, we want you to go out and play other games and enjoy life. Yeah. Thanks, Ian. SOD, hardcore fucking era. Retail, Plunderstorm, Miss of Pandaria fucking remix, you know? Bro. Bro. 
dream come true. Oh, man. I, I miss not being able to get these. No one said the other version. The other games couldn't be other versions of WoW. True. True. Truer than true can be true. They couldn't call it Remix of Pandaria. True. More true. Damn, Blizz, you're cooking. Told us if I was going to take a break from playing. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why are people getting excited every time they re-release a game that already came out so that we don't have to play with players like you? The expansion that started the downfall of WoW. Oh, stop it. Every expansion started the downfall of WoW. When Vanilla was over and BC came out and, and, the, and the fucking WoW purists heard about flying, right? They're like, oh, flying in an MMORPG. Downfall of WoW. The downfall is happening. Class balance, none. There won't be any. That's the beauty of it. You're just going to have insane amounts of dumbass power. That's a, that's an orange parser asking that question. Any PvP content as well? Nope. Sorry, you had Plunderstorm. Is there any PvP content? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can enable PvP. When's this coming out? Uh, we don't know yet. Um, I'm going offline. I'm assuming that... I'm just going to assume that their Twitter post was incorrect about the PTR being available, so I'm sure they're, they're going to clarify that because it's definitely not happening. So, No one asked for that shit. Give us actual content and retails. <laughs> it retailed. Please give us actual content and retail. Around half June. I don't think there's going to be challenge modes. There probably will be. Oh my god, I have to PvE for cosmetics and it's limited time only? Actually. It says class sets. I think they mean like the tier set class sets though. I don't think they mean like challenge mode but anyway if they have challenge mode sets as transmogs to collect oh my god <laughs> 7.4 million subs is going to turn to 11 real fucking quick let me tell you i don't think it's going to happen I, I don't think blizzard wants to piss off those challenge mode people who felt pride in their goals you know could be recolors though it, it, it could be recolors Maybe not the original colors, but maybe recolors. We we'll love a mode where, I don't know, we got to actually care about our retail characters. You have to expect you. God damn it. Yeah, another time limited event where. <laughs> what the fuck is that cat? No, I don't want to resub just yet. This is so mean. Yeah, everyone's wondering where's the PTR? Where's the PTR? It's like, yeah, I think we're screwed on that one today, boys. I think you could be any race, right? They said that you're going to be using modern login. So I'm assuming I could be a Colterran. In Pandaria. That's just my guess. You know? But why are Blizzard doing this? For the hell of it. For fun. My question, my question would be, why are they doing this? My question would be, like, why not do it? I mean, all the transmogs you collect, all the mounts you collect are going to transfer to your retail character anyway, and your characters that you create in this event are going to be transferred to your main servers and characters on, on retail as well. Like, why not? You know? Like, the fuck? I don't see the problem. 
Isle of Giants and Thunder in real time. My heart has longed for this since I've never gotten to experience MOP. Dino Thunder is in full effect. Let's go. That guy's super excited. I like his enthusiasm. Ordos, I'm coming for you at last. Did, did, did everyone not get their Ordos cloak during MOP? I'm ready again. Ooh, I wonder if Drakthir and... D yeah, Drakthir should be in there, too, in Demon Hunters. I don't think, I don't think people understand this event. It, it's, it has nothing to do with races and classes. It's just the content within the 10 to 70 experience and the power gains and experience gains and just redoing everything. You know? <laughs> just leveled an alt Pandaren to level 30, and now I have to delete it because I need I need the name for this instead. I don't care. I love this. Well, I, wa I wonder if all the names that are taken in all of retail affect this. Probably not, right? You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. <laughs> Dude, I'm just saying, imagine they do this in, in the future expansions, but for other expansions. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. BFA remix when? Nah, dude. Nah, nah, nah. Legion. You son of a bitch. I'm in. How do they keep getting away with this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Twitter's pretty positive. Twitter is pretty positive. Anyway, good announcements today. Good talks. Good chat. I got to get going. I'm going to go get my back right. My neck cracked, and then I'm going to go do some card stuff. Oh, what a day. What a day. Thank you for all the subs, resubs, tips, bits, and all that shit. I will be seeing you guys manana. Enjoy the rest of your time today. And uh, whenever the servers do come up um, this week or whenever, we will be hitting this up 100%. And then we're going to do it all over the fuck again on retail whenever it launches, hopefully in a couple of weeks. Hasta luego, amigos.